Welcome everybody. Let's start sharing quickly the live broadcast and begin to tap. Hallelujah. Let's share the live and start tapping on the screen. Those of you on Facebook and on, t on YouTube, kindly share on your WhatsApp groups, on your timelines, as well as your groups on Facebook, please. Let's get going. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. As you're coming in, um, please let us know where you are watching us from and help us share the live broadcast with at least 10 people. Hallelujah. This is the night. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you all the honor, my God. Mando do 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 bo shi gala braka sata kadi ama soto kodi abaha legezi gandari aba soto kodi ebe shendeli ama kuriese la masio korobo shondo ru yama saka taka la baya razege de yama sata kali aba soto kore sheke teke dia liga zogo robo shande dia masaka taka la baya ha rabo shikola masoto kodi aba shende la kasata kari aba soko teke dia hashakata. La gozo toru ya basonda ki ya basande ya baha rakashio lobosion da ya basanda welcome holy ghost makora bashoto kodi ya masata kali ya basata karie lege jege de mesoto kodi ya besio konde ya masata la kosoto kodi ya meseke teki da baha razege de de mashaga la mahasa takari ya baha rojege de masio loboso kote keri ya basande likara basoto kodi from wherever you are, I want you to start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Begin to activate your spirit, man. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, Hallelujah. Rasho kodiya masoto kodiye be shende diya masonde. Lika soto kodiya basanda diya masonda. And the prison doors broke open. Hallelujah. There are prison doors that are about to break open. Hallelujah. I need your spirit man to key in. Hallelujah. This is not an ordinary midnight hour. Hallelujah. I need you to activate your spirit man to be ready to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to, I need you to be ready to receive the word of God. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ki alaba shete, rozo koto kodiya masonda ki alaba hasa kata, ma kodiya basanda liya basonda liya kesekete, lika soto kodiya basende liya masonda. For the next three hours, we are together. We are going to war in the spirit. We are going to war until we get our breakthrough. Talk to me, somebody. We are going to destroy evil patterns. As you are coming in into the broadcast, I want you to type in in that comment section: destroying evil patterns. Every evil pattern shall be destroyed in the mighty name of. Of Jesus Christ. Rebe sheke liya masoto ko rebe sheke te. Rika sata tata ma ko diya ma shete ki alaba se. Rajo go de de me shika la masoto ko riye. Reje ke de de me si alama shoko te keri abasanda. Destroying evil pattern. Hallelujah. Rajo ko ti alama sonda diya masanda. We are going to break those evil patterns. Hallelujah. Rajo ke te ke liya masoto ko rebe. Reje ke de de me si alama soto ko riya baha. Razege de ya soto koli ya masheteke. Rabashi konda masoto koli ya masanda. Lika soto toto koshe keteke diya ha. Razege de 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 meshi alaba ha. Razege de miya soto koli ebe he. Razigo la masoto koli ebe shende. Lika soto koli ya maseteke liya maha. Razo godo mosi alama sheketeke. Rabashi ondo liya masoto koli ya bashande liya masende. Inala masoto. 
Kyoto Korobo Shiha. Destroying evil patterns. Hallelujah. Make sure you are mentioning it to somebody who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Lord, we are ready to destroy every evil pattern. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West and his glory from the rising of the sun. And from when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Hallelujah. Somebody say the spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard against Satan this evening. The spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard against Satan this morning. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is going to destroy every evil pattern. We are going to dig deeper right into your foundation. Hallelujah. We are going to dig deeper right into your roots. Hallelujah. We are going to dig deeper tonight. We are digging deeper this morning at this midnight hour. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to welcome every single person who's in this broadcast this evening. Hallelujah. Or this morning rather, depending on whatever country you are tuning in from. We are together for the next three hours. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to lift up a standard. Hallelujah. The Lord has lifted up a standard this morning. Hallelujah. The Lord shall cause my enemies that rise up against me to be smitten before my face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. They shall come against you in one way and they shall flee before you in seven ways. Hallelujah. For the Lord God is your strength. Hallelujah. He is the one who is going with you. He is the one who's entering this fight with you tonight. He is the one who's entering this fight with you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of the Lord says that they that, that hate me shall be clothed with shame and swelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, he shall hide me hallelujah he shall set me upon a rock and now shall my head be lifted above my enemies round about and therefore will i offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy hallelujah somebody say it again in that comment section the lord is lifting up a standard hallelujah the lord is lifting up a standard this morning hallelujah in this midnight hour hallelujah 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 thank you jesus the spirit of the lord is lifting up the standard hallelujah for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, says the Spirit of the Lord. Lest the plenteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Hallelujah. We are not afraid of any sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Hallelujah. For the Lord shall be my confidence and shall stop my foot from being taken. Hallelujah. I shall seek them and shall not find. Even them that contend with me, they that war against me shall be as nothing and as if that nothing is not. Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord says that he is ready to contend with your contenders. I don't know what is that thing that you have been contending with, but the Holy Spirit says he's ready to contend with that thing. Hallelujah. Behold, they shall surely gather. They will gather together, but not by you. Hallelujah. If they will not gather by me. Hallelujah. Whosoever shall gather against me shall fall for my sake. Hallelujah. This morning, this midnight season, hallelujah, we are saying we are destroying every evil pattern, hallelujah, every evil pattern that has been a problem in your life, hallelujah, for the Lord says, I will surely deliver thee, hallelujah, you shall not fall by your sword, hallelujah, hallelujah, somebody, hallelujah, the Lord is lifting up a standard, hallelujah, the angel of the Lord is encamping around us, hallelujah, for our kariaba soto kodia. Lika soto koria ma soto koria ma shende. Ikala ma soto koria ma shete. Ikala ma soto koria ma sende kia baho. La koshianda dia masonda. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is going to establish us this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody type in that comment section again. The Lord is breaking every evil pattern. The Lord is destroying every family pattern. Hallelujah. I want you to tell your neighbor and say to your neighbor, you need to tackle this. Hallelujah. You need to deal with this once and for all. This is the night that you deal with it. This is the morning that you deal with it. This is your midnight hour when you are dealing with that evil, evil pattern. Hallelujah. 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 Earlier this evening, Apostle said, and, 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 and while he was teaching, he said, this is not my son. 
You're looking at your life right now and you're saying, this is not my life. You know that this is not the script that God has laid out for you. This is not my life. I want you to type it in that comment section and say, this is not my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is an adage that says, like father, like son, or like mother, like daughter, hallelujah, meaning that there's something that is in the parent that is re resembling in either in appearance or either in manners or in, in, in some kind of an interest or a decision or action, hallelujah. And that is basically to say whatever happens to the father will also happen to the child. Hallelujah. But tonight we want to come against that saying, hallelujah. We want to come against that ad adage. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying that every evil pattern shall be broken. Hallelujah. Every evil pattern shall be destroyed. Nothing that your parents suffered is, is going to be suffered by you as well. In Jesus mighty name. Oh Lord, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor and adoration, my God. Hallelujah. Everything child of God has a foundation. Today, I said we are going to go to the source of your foundation for the next hour or the next 40 minutes. I need you to borrow me your time and your attention when we are going into the word because I need to lay the foundation. Hallelujah. The foundation is your source. The beginning of your life your personal genesis. Where are you coming from? Hallelujah. Whenever you are looking at destroying evil patterns, you need to look at your foundation, which is the platform that has been be pre prepared by your ancestors. So we need to go into your ancestral foundation to deal with the issues that have been making you come, you know, uh, to the point where you are, you are, you are sort of like at a point of near breakthrough and you never get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Today we are going to dig deeper and we're going to go in and we are going to look at what are those traits that you inherit what is that character that you inherited? Who is that ancestor that has been plaguing you? Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. This is not your life, JK. This is not your life. Hallelujah. Your foundation is what we need to get to, to understand whose life are you living? If there is something that you don't like in your current present circumstances, there is something about your life that you don't understand or you don't like. You need to go to your foundation and question that thing. You need to question your root. Hallelujah. The things that led to you being alive. Hallelujah. The things that led to your existence. What was happening before you came into this world? Hallelujah. Somebody say, look at my foundation. I'm looking Looking at my foundation this, e this evening, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That foundation is that thing that happened at the beginning of your life. That thing that happened at the beginning, at your birth. Hallelujah. That thing that they did not tell you about. That thing that you need to go back and ask them about. Talk to me, somebody. That thing that happened to you at a young age. Hallelujah. Some of you have that memory. What is that thing? That, that, that traumatic experience. That covenant that was made. That blood that was shed on that altar. Hallelujah. What is that? Look at my foundation. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The foundation of anything is what determines what will come out of it. Hallelujah. So this morning, as we are looking into your foundation, we want to understand what is going to come out of your life. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Everything, whether it is an occurrence or a situation, whether it's a living or non-living has a foundation. Hallelujah. Everything around us, creation has a foundation. Everything that you are going through in your life currently has a foundation. Hallelujah. If the foundation of a house is not strong enough, after a while, you will find that it might collapse. Hallelujah. It collapses. When, you're, when you're found, your, your house foundation is not strong enough, it will definitely collapse. Hallelujah. So we begin to understand as we travel in the realms of the spirit together this morning, that we understand that there is a strong relationship between your foundation and your destiny. Hallelujah. The reason why you are struggling to manifest your destiny, the reason why you are struggling how to, to manifest that job, that career, or whatever it is that you are believing God for is because there is a problem at the foundation. Somebody say, look at my foundation. Hallelujah. Look at my foundation, Pastor Fortune. Tell me what is going on with my foundation. What is it that I'm contending with? What is it that God needs to contend with? Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. I need to go deeper into my foundation, into my roots, to understand what are the roots that are causing and pulling me down while I'm supposed to be going up. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. I need somebody who's ready to make a demand on the Holy Spirit this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If a person that is destined to be great, but their star has been tempered within the womb, it will be difficult for such a person to rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm asking the question on your behalf and I'm asking the Holy Spirit, has your star been tempered with? What is going on with your star? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Many people are praying for a breakthrough and God is ready to give them, but their foundation is not allowing them to, to, to get that breakthrough. Ask yourself and ask your neighbor, what is holding your breakthrough? Talk to me, somebody. Oh my God, there's an evil pattern that we need to deal with. There's an evil cycle that we need to bring down. There's an evil cycle that we need to scatter. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Rabba Shikola Masoto Korea Baha. You are praying, but yet there is no answer. You are praying, but yet there is no breakthrough. Has my star been tempered with? Hallelujah. Tonight, one thing that is going to help you is to ask the right questions. Hallelujah. Whenever you are asking the right questions and you are making a demand on the anointing, I have proof positive, no doubt in my spirit, man, that this is going to happen. You are going to get the answers that you require. You cannot climb higher than the foundation in which you rest. Hallelujah. You need to understand that for a skyscraper building to be a skyscraper building, it needs to have the right foundation. Hallelujah. For a, It needs to have the right reinforcements in the foundation. Otherwise, you cannot go higher. Oh, my God. What is holding your breakthrough? What is at the foundation? What is that thing that is causing me not to climb, Jesus? I want to know that thing, and I want to deal with it tonight. Hallelujah. I want to deal with it once and for all. Hallelujah. Your foundation is that thing that is your background. Hallelujah. It has to do with your destiny. What is in your background that keeps on itching and makes you not get your marital settlement? What is in your background that keeps you working so hard but with no results? Hallelujah. 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 You understand in the spirit realm that a good foundation brings about a good destiny for the fact that your life is not sweet enough and you cannot say anything good about your life. That means there is something that is tempering with your foundation. Hallelujah. For the fact that your destiny seems, seems so difficult to attain, it is because there is something that is, that is, that, that is struggling with your foundation. Hallelujah. I want you to declare it right now and say, I, I will reinforce my good foundation. I will have a good foundation in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Today, if we need to change the cement, if we need to, do, to, do, to, to build a new foundation, we are going to do that in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Rabasa Tokodia Mahala Basoto Kodia Ha. And on, and on the other hand, whereas you have good foundation, there's also bad foundations. And when you have a bad foundation, it gives effect to a weak destiny. And a weak destiny is a struggling destiny. Hallelujah. One of the greatest uh, areas that Christians need deliverance in is the foundation and then the root. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, I want to tell you that maybe what you have been looking for and maybe what you have been skipping is that issue that needs deliverance. Hallelujah. That area that needs to be delivered. Hallelujah. There is no area where the wickedness of the father's house or the mother's house are pronounced more than they are in the foundation. So if there's any wickedness that is coming from an altar, that is coming from your father's house or your, or your mother's house, wherever it comes from, from your ancestral bloodline, it will manifest in that bloodline, in the foundations thereof. Whatever you are going through tonight, whatever you are going through in your life currently, I can prove positive, tell you that is coming from the foundation it's coming from your bloodline and today we are needing to deal with the blood hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus many people cannot fulfill their destiny hallelujah because of the idolatry that has been performed before them hallelujah because of the idolatry that they are performing currently hallelujah so our foundation is the heartbeat of our destiny we need to understand that we need to go clean up our foundations we need to go deal with our foundations we need to stop being so cute and thinking that our cute prayers and and and, and, and our articulate prayers because we speak a lot of big english or big grammar they are going to help us but no Ask any person from Africa, they will tell you there are foundational issues that you need to deal with and they will follow you. You can relocate from this continent and go to another continent. It will follow you. Let Tell your neighbor, deal with your foundations tonight. Deal with your foundations. Hallelujah. Once your foundation is collapsed, once your foundation is broken, once your foundation is unsettled, it will show in your life. When your things are not going right, I can tell you that your, your foundation has collapsed somewhere. It might not be anything you did. It might not have been your fault, but somebody collapsed. Somebody did this. There's an enemy that did this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the enemy sows the, what? The tears amongst the wheat. There is no tear that is, is sowed on an open field. 
Talk to me, somebody. A tear is sowed where there is wheat. That means there is a good foundation that is struggling and it's fighting to come up, but there is also a weak foundation that is struggling to cut, that is wanting to come up as well. There is a good foundation and a, a bad foundation and the bad foundation is where the enemy is, 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 is putting it and he puts it because he can see that God has meant you for good. God has got a beautiful destiny for you. Oh Jesus. Somebody tell, tell somebody, destroy that evil foundation. Destroy that evil pattern right now in Jesus mighty name. Makoria masanda kalia basoto. Reke siko takaria masoto kodie. Lako soto kodia bashande fe. Kila basoto kodie meshikoda ba. Oh, destroy that, that evil foundation. Destroy that evil pattern. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem that we have currently, saints, is that a lot of people who are suffering from foundational problems are under a spell. And that is what I call a spell of delay. They are under a spell of delay. Hallelujah. They are under a spell of poverty. They are under a spell of late marriages. Hallelujah. There is a reason for that that is happening. They are under a spell of unnecessary hatred. People hate you. You don't understand why they even hate you. Oh, Jesus. Too much disappointment. Hallelujah. Destroy that evil pattern. Hallelujah. Today, you are the one to even destroy that evil pattern, Dumi. Dumi, 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 Dumi you are going to destroy that evil pattern. Hallelujah. Because God has given you the tools. Hallelujah. And we're going to unlock those tools. Hallelujah. The untimely death, the spell of untimely death. Every weekend, when you are bearing, every weekend, you are, you are having a funeral. One family relative or another. It is not normal. Somebody say, this is not my life. This is not meant to be my life. This is not my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And endless financial setbacks. It's debt after debt, debt after debt. Financial setback. This one loses their job continuously again. Why is it happening in your family? Have you ever stopped to check why? Oh, put your hand on your chest and ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. Hallelujah. So there are many people today whose ancestors have done a lot of things. There's a lot of things that some of our ancestors did that are wicked that we don't know of. Hallelujah. And that is why when we're praying, when we are coming in this midnight hour like this, we are here to contend. Hallelujah. We are here to fight. We are here to say that power must change hands. Something is wrong in my foundation and I need to deal with it. I need to deal with that wicked foundation once and for all so that my children don't have to deal with the same thing. Hallelujah. Because if you don't deal with it, somebody else is going to carry it through. My God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord it will cut off every financial setback in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is not your life, Miego. Hallelujah. So it's not your life. It is not your life. This is not what it's meant to be. And anybody who thinks they can go through life without asking the question, why these things are happening, then you can just as well stop praying. You can just as well just chill out and just, I don't know, be a correspondent uh, Christian. Because you, you need to understand there's something wrong about a person who is a graduate, who's worked hard, who's done everything that he's supposed to do, who is worshiping God, and yet you find yourself unable to even just secure an ordinary admin job. Hallelujah. My God, my God. You find yourself at the back end begging. You find yourself out there in the streets living like a hobo. This is not my life. Hallelujah. This is not my life. Jesus. Hallelujah. So what is that thing that the ancestors have done? What is that wicked thing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have made transactions that we don't know of. Some of us, we know of those transactions because we were there when they visited those shrines, when they thought that they were doing us well. Some, some of the parents, they did really mean well, but some of them, they didn't know. Some of them, they didn't know what they were doing, but some of them knew that destinies were being exchanged at that point. Oh, Jesus. They entered into covenants. There are some people whose ancestors entered with co in, into covenants, which brought about a demonic manifestation. The evil spirits that you are struggling with right now, it is a spirit. There was a covenant that was made with a particular spirit. And that spirit is what is currently tormenting you. The problem is not you. It did not start with you. 
That marine spirit that has been troubling you has not started with you. If you go and do your research, the thing is that people are lazy to do the research. People are lazy to go back and ask the right questions and say, who else suffered like this? Who else started drinking alcohol like this? As if the bottle stores are about to run out and they are about to pack out. Why is there a consistent liver issue? Everybody has got a liver issue. Everybody gets a gout issue. Everybody has got a fibroid issue. Do you see that this is a pattern? Why is it that everybody is going in and out of marriages, divorce? It's just a repetitive pattern and you think that is normal. Why is it that everybody is shaking up and, and, and living unholy? Why is it that nobody ever gets married before having any child? Why is it that it's such a pattern that there are two, three kids for each sibling and they, they're having different fathers? There is an evil pattern. It is not supposed to be so. This is not your life. If you think there is anything normal about that, that dysfunctionality, I want to announce to you tonight that this is not meant to be your life. You might find yourself in those circumstances, but this is not meant to be your life. And you need to correct it so that your children don't have to go through it as well. You might be the one that I'm talking about, that you are having, and I'm not here to fight you or, 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 or to, 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 to judge you. I'm not judging you. And I'm saying that there is a pattern. It didn't start with you. It started with somebody else. There is something at the back at the foundation. And now you find yourself in that situation. This error must be corrected. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, this error must be corrected. This error must be corrected. Hallelujah. Oh my God, contend with my contenders. This error must definitely be corrected. Hallelujah. There is something wrong about being rejected time and again. Every time you enter a relationship and you give it your all, you sow everything into it, body, soul, mind, and finances. And you get rejected again. And you get rejected again. You get dumped. Why are you a dumpster? Are you a dumping bin? Why is it that men want to dump on you? Why is it that women keep on mocking you and walking out of your life? What is it? What is that evil pattern that you are manifesting? You thinking that you are a cool guy. You are thinking that you are the in thing by changing different women, by, by following a pattern. There is a polygamous uh, ancestral spirit that is busy fighting you. Do you not understand that this thing that you are thinking thinking that is going to stop with you, that even if you, if you don't marry those, those mothers of, of, of your children, of your seed that you have been spreading around, that one of your children is going to go through the same thing. Do you understand that God will give you a daughter that will go through the same thing that you are putting other people through? You are not being cute. You are not being handsome and all that. You may be handsome and all that and a bag of chips, but th there is a foundational issue that you are busy sowing and you are busy... Uh, 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 repeating it. It's going to repeat itself. My God. Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, this error must be corrected. Hallelujah. 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 The, 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 your ancestors might not have any problem now until the, uh, uh, until the future. You might not have been having any problems right now. You might not have picked it up until now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people go through life and they might even scale through and, and, and it's their children that will suffer. You might, you, you might scale through whatever it is that you're going through, but your children will suffer. Hallelujah. You cannot tell the rules of the evil transactions that have been made. There are certain rules. There are principles that work. Today I was speaking to, with Apostle and we were discussing these two things that it is easier to cast out a demon than to deal with a principality. Talk to me, somebody. When you are dealing with the principality, you need to understand that you're going to have to argue principles. You need to understand that you are in the court of heaven and you need to argue based on legality. If a principality feels that you are not going to be ousted, if a principality feels that you are not, you, that is why in the Bible, you know, when, 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 when you, when, when the, the disciples would encounter a familiar spirit, they will say, Paul, I know John, I know. Jesus, I know, but who are you? Which Jesus are you preaching? Then you are dealing with the principality, my darling. This error must be corrected. When you are dealing with the principality, they're able to call you out. They're able to tell you that, hey, this thing is wrong. You cannot tell me to leave here. I'm entitled. I've got a legal entitlement to come and torment this person. 
Demons do not have bodies. Demons are not supposed to be occupying anybody. That is why you cannot continuously be tormented by a demon. All you have to do, you rebuke it and you, you tell it to be casted out in Jesus' mighty name. But if you are dealing with a principality, you are in a different dimension. This error must be corrected based on the principles of that will deal with principalities. Hallelujah. So maybe your stubborn issue that has been so stubborn until now, it's an issue of, of what? Of a principality issue. Hallelujah. You cannot tell what the rules are that your, 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 your ancestors covenanted on those altars, but what you can do definitely is to destroy them today. You can ask the Lord to destroy those evil foundations. God is a God that respects covenant. So whether the covenant was done in an evil platform on an evil altar, God respects that covenant. Hallelujah. God is a God of covenants. Hallelujah. It is you that you will have to arise. You will have to rise up and break the hold of these faulty foundations. God is saying, I, I see there's a faulty foundation, but I can't touch it. I don't have a legal right to come in right now because they created it and they bound her. They bound him. Hallelujah. This error must definitely be corrected. It is better to be, uh, to, to address any troublesome foundation right now in your life rather than to leave it for your children. Hallelujah. We are too cozy. We are leaving our children to dictate whether or not they want to be serving God. You don't have that luxury. You know the things that you are suffering with. Of. You know the things that are an issue in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are so many people that there is blood crying against their foundation. The blood is crying. Blood was exchanged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Makoria Basunda. So tonight, as you have come on this prayer, on this in, in this next time that, that the Holy Spirit has set aside for us in this next three hours, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. I need your eyes to see. I want you to ask the Lord to say, Lord, open my spiritual eyes to see. Hallelujah. I want to see what I'm dealing with. I want to see what I'm contending with. And tonight I want to destroy that evil foundation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Deuteronomy chapter five, God bless you, mom, Sophie. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter five, verse nine to 10 says, Oh, I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation for of them that hate me and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So the Lord is saying that the, the, the foundations will affect up to the fourth generation. Hallelujah. 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 So our inheritance is turned into strangers. Our houses have been turned to aliens. Hallelujah. The Bible is saying this in Lamentations chapter 5. I mean, Lamentations chapter 5, verse 2 to 17. Hallelujah. He says, we are orphans. We are fatherless. Our mothers are living like widows. Our necks are under persecution. Listen to this description. And I know that you can find yourself in this description. What scripture is saying in Lamentations chapter 5. He says our necks are under persecution. We are laboring and we have no rest. We are, la we are working but we are, we are not seeing the result. We are working. We are not seeing the money. This is an evil pattern. Oh, Jesus, our fathers have sinned. Listen to this. He says the acknowledgement of the prophetic word that says our fathers have sinned. Our fathers have sinned and they are not. They are gone. Hallelujah. We have been born. The pan we have born. We have given birth to the pan 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 for the punishment of their iniquities. We are now suffering the punishment of what they did, the iniquities that they performed in the past. Hallelujah. He says, servants have ruled over us. You were supposed to be ruling. You were supposed to be in charge. You were supposed to be doing good in your life, but you have been a servant. You have been living a life of a servant, a life of a beggar, a life of, of a person who's always taking out loans. This is not your life. This is not your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, we get our bread with peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. The joy of our heart is seized. Your, if, when, the, when the joy is being seized from your heart, the joy of the heart is being seized. That means it's caged. Our dance has been turned into mourning. Instead of joy, we are mourning. Hallelujah. When I asked my friend, I said, my God, this is not normal. You cannot be bearing every week. You cannot be bearing every week. It's just not normal. It's not, it's, this is not your life. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. For this, our heart is faint. For this, for, for, for these things, our eyes are dim. Hallelujah. So we begin to understand when we go through the scriptures today and when we hear what the spirit is taking us on, on this journey. Hallelujah. 
that there is an established basis of spiritual foundations that are fighting us. There are spiritual foundations and spiritual roots that are fighting you. Hallelujah. And the fact that it's having an effect and it's having an influence in your life and it will have an influence in your generation. Hallelujah. The outcome of your life will depend on your foundation. And that is why you need to deal with it. And I'm going to keep on re-emphasizing this so that anybody who's even joining us, you need to, it needs to sink in so that you understand what it is that you're dealing with. Hallelujah. I, when I was relating with Apostle Elia and I was saying, it is so difficult because when I when I get counseling requests and I'm seeing the questions and, 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 and people who are asking me, uh, Pastor, why am I going through one, two, three? Why is this happening? And I see that it's a repetitive pattern. It's happening. It's a pattern. And they need deliverance and they don't see it. And they need deliverance and they're not ready to fight. Many people are not even ready to wake up and pray. Many people don't want to sacrifice. This 12 o'clock midnight thing is itching them right now. It's they, 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 they can't wait to go to bed. If, 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 if you don't, if you, if, if you are that person who's saying right now, I can, I, I'm so sleepy. I want to go to bed. Please go to bed. But for some of us, we need to make it. For some of us, if we don't fight this thing, we know that we're not going to make it. If we don't fight this thing, we know that there's not going to be food on the table. If we don't fight this thing, we know that the next generation is doomed. So this meeting tonight is for those who are saying, I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being, I'm, I'm enough with enough. This error must be corrected once and for all. Yes, Mom Sophie, we are here to fight. This is, take no prisoners. We are here to fight. We are not here for cagement anymore. Hallelujah. We are ready to put in the sacrifice, my God. Hallelujah. So the extent to which your life will progress and the extent to which your life will succeed will depend on how, how, how much you want to dig into your foundation and dig into your roots and deal with them. Hallelujah. Your foundation is your spiritual source, your, your, the beginning of your life, that Genesis that you need to deal with and you need to go deal with that. Hallelujah. So whether out of ignorance, whether they worshipped idols out of, in, uh, of ignorance, whether your ancestors, you know, uh, they, they, they worshipped any demonic entity, there's elemental uh, uh, um, spirits in rivers that they, they formed covenants with. Hallelujah. They went to trees. They spoke to trees. They spoke to rocks. Hallelujah. That tree that you are finding inside, inside your compound, inside your village, in that tree where your destiny is tied. You didn't understand that why they went to go and kneel at a particular point in your yard. And it's speaking against you. It's speaking against you. Let me share this. Some of you, you know the umbilical cord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your umbilical cord ties you to your foundation in ways in, and dimensions you cannot understand. Some of you don't even know where your umbilical cord is. And the Holy Spirit just brought it in my spirit that I need to speak to that umbilical cord. I need to go and uproot it wherever it has been planted. Hallelujah. You did not understand that when they requested the umbilical cord, they were not tying you to the ancestors in the way that they're saying they're introducing you. That, that, that cord that was being done, it was a blood tie. So the sins of whatever those ancestors that they were tying to is what is speaking against you today. Oh, Jesus. Your ancestors did covenants with animals. Blood was shed. Bloods of chickens. Bloods of goats. Do you understand that God is not a kind of God that burdens you with such things? My God. Hallelujah. Our ancestors formed partnerships, connections, covenants with spirits, celestial beings. Some people traded because they wanted temporary money. They wanted to be wealthy. And they were told, this is, this is the price you have to pay. Your next generations, they will never live beyond a particular age. Your next generation will never uh, uh, succeed financially. We've got men who are husbands who are unable to provide for their families. What is the reason? 
Oh my God. Somebody tell your neighbor, deal with that foundational issue. Hallelujah. Oh, karaba soto kodi ya mashata kali ya ba. Ma kuraba shata kali ya basoto. They gave over the, your power. Your power was given to these celestial beings. Your power was given to these, to, to, to these spirits. Hallelujah. By so doing your authority, you lost your authority. Hallelujah. Authority lost over your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are certain names that people are bearing. You don't know why they named you after a particular person. And you don't know why you are manifesting the character and the personality of that person. Have you asked yourself why? There's that one granny that was always associated with taking people's husbands. And all of a sudden, you are busy doing the same thing. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. Being damned repetitively, there's a pattern. Trust you me. If you have the guts to go do the research, deliver me, Lord, today. Say it in the comment section there. Deliver me, Lord, today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. What is the name that you are bearing? Whose name are you bearing? Have you asked yourself, what surname am I carrying? What is the meaning of my surname? What is the meaning of my name? Hallelujah. Because every time they call that name, it, you, you are giving glory to that demonic spirit. You are giving glory to that idol and unknowingly. You are giving glory to that animal, that, that, that object. Hallelujah. That object that came from, a, uh, the, the, the sat from Satan's domain. Hallelujah. What is the meaning of your name? Do you know the meaning of your name? All your names. Ask your neighbor, do you know the meaning of your name? Hallelujah. What is the meaning of your name? What is the meaning of your surname? Hallelujah. So, saints, this assignment that we have tonight is an assignment that every member of the body of Christ should pay attention to. Certain families are notorious, as I said, for alcoholism. Why is the alcoholism a pattern in your life? Certain families are famous for sexual perversion. You're not being handsome and cute by sleeping around. You're not a slay queen just, you, you think you're slaying now. You're just creating a foundation. God bless you, Apostle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What name are you answering to? Hallelujah. It is important that you unearth the negative covenant traits in your bloodline and break them. Hallelujah. Father, I break every negative and every negative foundation, every negative covenant in my bloodline right now. I break myself. I separate myself from it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your foundation is polluted, your destiny will equally be polluted. Every faulty foundation will give birth to a faulty life. So if you're looking at your life and say, this is not my life. That means that life is faulty. What gave birth to that? What made you get to that point? You cannot go beyond the level of your foundation or your root. The healthier your foundation, the healthier your life. Hallelujah. So in order for you to live a fulfilling life, a life evidenced with the goodness of the Lord, your foundation will need to be rebranded. And tonight we are rebranding this, that life. Hallelujah. Through the power of prayer, you bring it to the altar of prayer. You need, to you need to build your own prayer altar where you are bringing it this thing. Some of these foundations are not a once-off dealing thing. It is a repetitive thing that you do because it's going to constantly want to raise his head. You need to repeatedly deal with that thing. When you see it rearing his head, you say, no, I'm dealing with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Many people are living a confused life. Because of these things, because of foundational issues, evil patterns, the, the evil pattern is an alarm bell that was, that just came to say, wake up. You need to ask the right questions. Rebrand your life through prayer. Hallelujah. There is power in prayer through deliverance with the help of the Holy Spirit. So tonight I want you to raise a prayer and say, God, Holy Spirit, help me, help me, help me to be delivered. Father, I'm, I've come to you tonight to say, help me. Hallelujah. I don't want to live a confused life anymore. Rebrand me. Rebrand me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Whatever the evil foundation my forefathers laid, rebrand me. Take me out of it, Holy Spirit. I, I have nothing to do with it. Help me out of this situation. I'm coming out of it. That's why I'm even rebranding it. I'm not to, today. I need to change my language. I need to fight and say, I'm coming out. I'm making a determined decision. I am cutting off myself from this covenant. I am cutting myself from this covenant. I, I have noticed certain negative patterns in certain bloodlines of my family relatives. I can see there's a pattern. There's a pattern. Repeated financial poverty like nobody's business. And anybody that has tried to help that particular family, your finances are attacked. Suddenly you are under attack. Suddenly you lose your job because you borrowed your money to the wrong person. Because you you thought you were helping. I'm coming out. I'm definitely coming out. But Lale, you are coming out. You, 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 you gave your money to the wrong person. Because there are things that are fighting them. The foundations are fighting them. There are principalities that are fighting them that have determined no way it's not happening. Do you understand? Do you understand that when you make a decision to sleep with somebody, you make a decision to marry somebody, do you understand that you are, you are coming together as one? And what coming together as one? God bless you, Lundi. God bless you, Amelia. When you come together as one, what is fighting them will fight you. What is fighting them when you seek to make yourself a savior and a deliverer to them will fight you. And suddenly you are in a dispensation where things are just going haywire. And you're saying, I've never had this in my life. But there's somebody, your navel contacted with somebody. Somebody says, pastor, we use the condom. It does not matter. There was fluid that was contacted, that sweat, that joined in that moment, that navel connection is what is speaking. And that is what you need to uproot this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So most things are happening now because of, uh, they are the results of events that happened many years ago. But the good news is that God has made available to his three children, to his children, three powerful weapons. Hallelujah. He has made available three weapons for you. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus and his word. That is why I don't joke with the word of God. I don't joke with the word of God. I have no time for Christians who don't have time for the word, who don't have time to go research the word for themselves. Hallelujah. You have the blood, you have the name of Jesus, you have the blood of Jesus and you have the word. Those are the three weapons that you're going to use. You are going to fight these evil foundations today. Hallelujah. You're going to change the cause of your destiny. The prophetic will speak tonight, this morning. Your prophetic word will be released. Some of you, we will do one-on-ones live here today. My God. By the, by the, by, by the will of God, we, we're going to have enough time to do all that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So no matter what is happening in your family as a result of a wrong foundation, you can decide today to take a different direction. Hallelujah. Take a different direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is an evil family pattern? It's something that is evil clearly by its description. It's something that is negative by its description. It's something that is common in a given family. Hallelujah because of the ancestral blood uh, uh, to the offsprings. So it, it's impacting the offsprings, but it's coming from the ancestors. Ask yourself, I, I, tonight maybe you should ask them even before you sleep or, or, or when we take a break, you say, my ancestors, what actually did you do? Some of you need to have serious, deep conversations with your parents. Hallelujah. There are things that happen in the lives of people which they are not able to explain. So somebody needs to explain this issue. You need to go back home. You need to go back to your village and ask, what did you people do? What am I fighting? This thing is following me. Somebody knows the truth somewhere. Oh, this error must be corrected in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You will overcome all the altars of your ancestors in Jesus' mighty name. Lay your own good foundations. Hallelujah. You can't run away from it. I told you, even if you relocate continents, 
it will follow you. And that is why you need to deal with it. Hallelujah. You need to break the cycle. Hallelujah. You need to recognize the cycle when it starts. When you are spotting that thing in that child that you have currently. And you can start spotting that behavior. You nip it in the butt. While they are still growing up, you nip it in the butt. Because I know as parents, we are very perceptive. We can, we can recognize certain biological tendencies. Some, some, some tendencies that, and I will show you this thing in scripture. It has to do with anger that certain children, they, they, they demonstrate this anger. They are always suddenly angry. You find a three-year-old saying things that are so shocking. Anger, outburst of anger. And somebody looks at this child and says, it's like, I wanted to, to know what is the English of say, you know, it's like you, 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 it's like the father. You are mimicking what the father did. You are mimicking what this one did. That man, somebody in, in your ancestral bloodline, they will say, oh, it's like go, 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 ban ban. Grandma so and so used to do that thing. She used to have such a cheeky thing. And that's why you are bearing grandma so and so's name. And you are suddenly cheeky and you're thinking it's cool about it. Oh, Jesus. Yes, we speak a fresh and healthy foundations in our lives right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We are breaking every single cycle. Hallelujah. There's a cycle of certain illnesses affecting your family. Every time it's the same thing. Why is there a pattern of prostate cancer in your family? Why is there a particular illness again and again? It finally kills, it kills somebody. People only live up to a certain age. This error must be corrected. It cannot be. It cannot be that you don't aspire. Why would you not want to aspire to be 100 years old? Okay, if you want to choose to be 70 and then you want to check out, it's okay. But let it be your choice. Let it not be that somebody says, nobody in my family lives beyond 50. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ladies not getting married. Divorcing within no time. You are always the return soldier. Why, why must there be so many return soldiers? It's a common thing. Nobody's married in my family. And that one time when you decide to break through, that one time when you get proposed for marriage, some people, there are issues that the, 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 the spouse just disappears. When a, when, when a man decides to propose you, when it's time for lobola, there's an accident. When there's time for lobola, when you've postponed, then the person, somebody gets sick, somebody dies, the money is, is, is now having to be redirected to something else. Do you not see that this is a cycle? Do you not see that this is a pattern? Hallelujah. It's not normal for a pattern of people returning to their father's house, coming back from your marriage and say, I'm a return soldier. I'm just going to be here at home. And you think it's cool. Your marriage is supposed to work. You made vows. It's supposed to work when you work it. It's supposed to work when you put God at the center. It's supposed to work. Yes, Mom Sophie, or the, or, or the spouse dies. You are finally, you met the guy and he even paid the lobola, but suddenly he dies. What killed him? I don't, don't take it too hard on yourself. It's things that you didn't know, but today you know it. Hallelujah. Certain types of hereditary diseases in a family. Mental challenges. I used to stay next to a neighbor when I was in Mamelodi Gardens. And every year in September, they say, you know, the September is like spring and, 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 and you see flowers coming out every September. This particular guy would have like, would lose his mind and he would do things that were crazy. He would beat up on his mother. He would beat his wife. And they said, it's normal. This happens in our family. Every September, this is happening. So at that point, you need to say, whoa, bus, mm -mm. let's stop this bus. This is Park Station. We need to deal with this bus. This is the last bus stop. You cannot be springing up every September like this. When I'm supposed to be seeing the flowers and the blooming and the, and the summer of, of, of my life, and you suddenly think that I'm a punching bag. Always, always. This guy, it was, it was like clockwork in September, the whole month of September, this guy, we would have him arrested. I don't know how many times <clears throat> repeatedly. 
always ending up in jail. Why Why is the pattern of so many people that in their lives, they, 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 there's some kind of problem one way or the other with the law. You find yourself in some kind of problem. Why is it that it's it's always your 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 house? Like everybody doesn't have a house. You just you know uh, depending on government houses. My God, the devil is a liar. This is the last bus stop. This is the last bus stop. Tell your neighbor this is indeed the last bus stop. Hallelujah. Whatever that thing is, whatever that cycle, whatever that hereditary illness is, today, Father God, we are rooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whether it is diabetes, Lord, we are asking, we are here today, Lord, on this altar, my God, on this protocol breaking altar, God, that God, this error must be corrected. No more shall diabetes take effect. No more shall we be uh, 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 victims of cancer in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Whether it is blindness, whether it is barrenness, why is it that you have to have difficulty in conception? They can't even find a reason why. They can't find a reason why you are not able to conceive. You need to be angry and you need to make up in your mind that I am not going through this anymore in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Somebody type it again in the comment section, destroying evil patterns. I'm destroying evil patterns. I want you to declare it tonight. I'm destroying every evil pattern. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Are you guys ready to pray? Hallelujah. That evil pattern, that stubborn disease that you must get rid out of your life. Hallelujah. Through prayers. If you need to fast, you will need to fast. Don't eat as if like food is going out of, of, of existence. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Many lives have been frustrated. Many lives have been destroyed. Other lives have been wasted. Make up your mind and say, tonight my life will not be wasted. My life will not longer be frustrated. Hallelujah. Many people are currently under a plague because of these wicked evil patterns in their father's house. Hallelujah. So tonight when we start praying, I want us to make sure that we are issuing violent prayers. Hallelujah. You need to go to war. Hallelujah. And when you go to war, you don't go with expired weapons. You make sure you take the blood of Jesus in there with you. You make sure you take the name of Jesus with you. You make sure you, 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 you take the word of God with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as a soldier, you need to understand that you need to increase your spiritual power. You need to come in armed with rugged deliverance prayers that will break you out. Hallelujah. Once and for all, you are coming out. Hallelujah. I'm breaking out of this thing. Hallelujah. I'm breaking out of this thing in Jesus mighty name. I'm coming out. I'm declaring my freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Joshua 24, 15, it says, and if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers that they served or whether you are going to be on the other side, hallelujah, of the flood and of the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You must choose who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve the gods of your ancestors or are you going to serve the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find out, ask yourself relevant questions. Tell your neighbor, it is important that you ask yourself relevant questions. Why are people dying young in this family? Hallelujah. Why are people dying young? Hallelujah. Why are, why are we going through so much hardship? Why are we going through financial limitation? Why am I going through much, so much stagnancy? My cousin had it. My uncle had it. Everybody's in a financial st stagnant way. You are just stuck. Everybody's just stuck. There's nobody. There's no testimony. Nobody is breaking out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's because there's a history of idolatry worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody succeeds. Nobody achieves nothing. This error must be corrected. Nobody succeeds. Nobody. The, the, just sickness everywhere. My God, this error must be corrected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I look into the scriptures and you see, and you look at the life of Abraham, look, let's look at the life of Abraham. The Bible says Isaac, his son 
and Jacob, his grandson. There's an evil pattern that was de determined there. All of them had an issue with childbearing, delayed childbearing. So that delay in you conceiving, in you not being able to have the fruit of the womb, it's not a new thing. It happened with Abraham. It happened with Isaac. It happened with Jacob. Hallelujah. Abraham's wife, Sarah, was barren and did not give birth until the age of 90 years. Can you imagine such a delay? Can you imagine how your, 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 your in-laws would have, um, what is it, you know, spoken ill of you? Your in-laws would have just rubbished you and said, you are nothing more about whatever they call it. Hallelujah. This error must definitely be corrected. Isaac's wife, Rebecca, was barren. Genesis 25, 21 says, Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Until Isaac decided to cry out to the Lord, the issue was not corrected. Tell your neighbor, cry out. Today, you need to raise your voice on this altar. You need to raise your voice. You need to cry out. Give me some more time so that I can help you lay this foundation well. So that you, you live here knowing how to fight these things. So that you go and live, live here and, and equip others to be able to fight these foundations that are fighting them. Hallelujah. L let me tell you a secret. When I started out in my launching out properly in my calling, the ministry that I was serving in, it did not teach me these things. Let me be sincere. In fact, they told me to pray in a particular way. I was never a candidate of spiritual warfare. The person that I am today, or the person that I'm becoming, I, I could not have seen it coming because I didn't deal with such things. I thought being born again was enough. I thought that was the end of it. Until I was reminded I don't know. The Holy Spirit just birthed it. And, and, and thank God the Holy Spirit gave me the revelation. When it was prophesied how I would be praying, the person that prophesied me, the prophet that prophet, prophet Brian Khan, I did not understand what he was saying. And I was saying, this man doesn't understand. I'm in a healing ministry. I'm, I'm dealing with healing only. I understood that I had a gift of healing, but I didn't know about this other intercessory and prayer thing. And I didn't want anything of it. Hallelujah. You need to cry out, Apostle. Yes, we are coming. Hallelujah. We are coming out by the, by the power of the Holy Ghost. So you need to fight. Spiritual warfare cannot be excused. That is why I repent because I may have, 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 have left others behind. Having taught a particular doctrine. And I had to repent and say, no, 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 God, I now, I understand I need to fight because I see this thing is still, still working. In. It's still happening. It's still manifesting. Let me continue. So Jacob's second wife, Rachel, who also experienced barrenness. Hallelujah. And when you look at the family of Zebediah, the Bible says there was a fury and destructive anger on the children. Hallelujah. And children can only inherit anger from where? Where did they see it from? Children act out what they saw their parents acting out. So if their parents were acting out in anger, they will act out exactly that. Hallelujah. So if you observe that, for example, in your life, in your family, there is a high rate of divorce. It's increased in your family line. You need to look into the causes and deal with it. Hallelujah. If you observe that certain family members, again, they are doing that divorce in and out, in and out. Open up, open up, fat and set, fat and set. You are just cohabiting with people. It's a pattern. It's not supposed to be like that. This is not my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've already discussed the powers that, that, that are causing these things. Those ancestral powers, idolatry powers, evil dedications. People have been dedicated on altars. They don't even know that they were dedicated on. Hallelujah. Marine powers that are fighting them. Hallelujah. That is why you don't understand why you are having spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. You are seeing things in your dreams. You are being made to eat in your dreams. These things are not normal. They are not normal. You wake up sick after eating in a dream. You don't understand why that is. You are sleeping with a spiritual husband. You are sp sleeping with a spiritual wife. And you are thinking you are masturbating. You are thinking you are having a sexual dream. And the next thing, you are facing so many attacks in your life. I don't know. I might not have all the answers. It might be an African thing. I don't know. But I also know that there's other, other cultures that also go through this. 
Hallelujah. We just have different altars that we are fighting and that we need to sort out. Some people's uh, uh, issues that are the foundation issues are coming from polygamous witchcraft. Hallelujah. Polygamy is the issue. Hallelujah. So you need to ask some people, you need to ask some aunties if your mother or father is not around. Where did you take me to? Did you take me to any altars? Was I taken to some altars? Hallelujah. Who was bathing me as a child? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand that there can be a transference of spirits? People who are looking after you as a child, you don't understand what happened. You don't understand what they were saying. You don't understand what they were saying when they were laying their hands and they were making as if they are combing you. You don't know what was said. Hallelujah. What is the meaning of my name? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do people don't like helping our family? Why is it that we are being treated like outcasts, like lepers all the time? Why is it, why is it like we can never be great? Hallelujah. One thing is certain and for sure is that any evil pattern will make sure that there's going to be hardship. So if you are seeing a symptom of hardship, if you are seeing a symptom of miscarriages, if you are seeing a symptom of barrenness, if you're seeing unexplainable high, high rates of divorce, anything like that, delayed, delays, repetitive delay, difficulties in getting married, hallelujah, unstable marriages, always, there's always just chaos around you, hallelujah, hallelujah. People who are unable to live a holy life, unholy character, unholy behavior traits. Hallelujah. Getting a job is seeming impossible. Just a mere job, simple job. You can't get a job. Why? Why can't you get a job? And why is it that your uncles could never get a job? Everybody in your bloodline. Why, why is that so? Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Poverty is prevalent in your background. We're going to deal with this. Hallelujah. Some of you, uh, I'm going to bring you in in the box and you're going to, um, you know, just say what it is that you have been dealing with. And we're going to help you analyze that, that issue. Hallelujah. And help you pray through it. Hallelujah. My God. So now that we've understood that our foundation bears so much weight. Hallelujah. This other issue that the Holy Spirit pointed out in some families, you have, uh, you know, men who find it hard to get married. Hallelujah. Or, or, or they are dealing with anger issues. And suddenly when they do get married, they find that they are matched with a, a wife that is also having anger issues. That is a recipe for disaster already from the beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today you will be delivered. Hallelujah. I want you to tell your neighbor, it is my time for deliverance. Hallelujah. It is my time for deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is that thing that is trending in your family? Hallelujah. That family where the firstborns never do any well. Hallelujah. They, they just amount to nothing. They just amount to nonsense. They are just rubbish the whole time. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is that spiritual problem that has been repeated? Hallelujah. My God. Let's begin to speak in tongues. Father, we thank you, my God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We are dealing with every negative thing. Hallelujah. My God, we understand that we need to identify the issue until such time we identify the issue. If we don't know what we are dealing with, oh God, we cannot know how to deal with it, my God. If we have not identified the issue, Father, my God, we are raising this prayer right now to say, my God, help me to identify the issues. Hallelujah. Help me, my God, to identify the issues that are fighting me in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever negative negative pattern that is fighting me, whatever has been limiting me, whatever has been limiting my breakthrough, whatever has been limiting my progress in life, Father, show it to me in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here this morning, my God, to deal with every negative pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm here to identify and recognize every one of them, my God, and break the spell and break the cycle in Jesus' mighty name. Every negative pattern, I pull you down in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I love it. It is indeed your time for deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we have stayed awake this morning, my God, and this midnight hour, Holy Spirit, 
thank you, Jesus, that we will examine our lives, oh God, that we will identify those things that are tendencies in our lives, oh God, that we need to deal with, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to uproot every negative evil foundation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are uprooting every negative foundation that has been causing repeated car accidents, my God. Repeated accidents, repeated deaths, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. It is my time for deliverance. It is my time to be free. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm here to deal with it today. My God, once and for all, in Jesus' mighty name. This is the last bus stop. I decree the termination of every negative cycle. I decree the termination of every negative pattern in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every negative pattern is in, is being broken right now in Jesus mighty God whatever has been holding us captive oh God whatever has been collectively holding my family captive right now my God with everybody who's at the sound of my voice my God as they stand in agreement with me my God as they shout that amen well and they agree my God we declare and we declare my God let it be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my God we declare and we decree that every negative household covenant that has been fighting and affecting the destinies of people in our family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now my God we declare that it breaks begin to break it right now begin to break every covenant every covenant that has been affecting your destiny negatively right now we are breaking it by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Begin to pray, saints, wherever you are. Begin to send that incense up to heaven. Oh my God, any visible or invisible arrow right now, any visible arrow or any invisible arrow of wickedness right now, anything that is attacking my destiny in my life, in my family line, I command you to scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every invisible arrow to scatter, every arrow of wickedness, begin to scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus every agent of darkness that has been op operating every evil covenant in my family right now I declare that you are arrested come on raise that prayer point with me right now in Jesus mighty name begin to attack every agent of darkness every agent of evil every agent of darkness right now every evil covenant that is in my life right now I command that agent of darkness that has brought about that covenant to be arrested right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Oh yes. Oh God, this morning, oh God, we are being delivered. This is our destiny. This is our moment. Come on. My destiny shall come out. 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 Begin to uncage yourself. My destiny shall come out from every evil prison. My destiny shall come out from everything that is holding me down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. E karaba shoto kodye bebe 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 beshia. Rako sondo kodye masoto kodye beshia. Rasi kodye masoto kodye masanda. Please play something slower. Makore shi karaba sonda. I kalama sonda ki araba sonda. I kalama shi koraba sende. E rararara something slower. Lako sonda ki araba sonda diya masondo. I kalama shi koriya masonda. That Yahweh song. Thank you, Jesus. Makaria Masoto. Ikala Masoto Korea Masanda. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Declare it in the comment section. I am coming out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am coming out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Makora Bashende. Ikala Masoto Koroboshiando. Roboshi Kala Masata Karia Masonda. My destiny come out. My destiny come out. My destiny come out. I release myself by force. I release myself from every ancient curse. I release myself from every ancient pronouncement in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. My destiny come out. Come on, declare your destiny. You are coming out. Bring out your destiny and hook it from that pronouncement, from that evil pronouncement. And hook it, and hook it, and tie yourself. 
Break yourself from that curse. Break yourself from every curse. I'm breaking out from every ancient curse in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pronouncement that is affecting my life right now, every evil pronouncement affecting my family, I'm coming out. Every evil pronouncement that is affected by my environment right now in my, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm coming out. I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. I'm coming out on the other side. I'm, I'm coming out on the other side of the goodness of this. I'm laying out a new foundation. I'm laying out a good foundation. I release myself by force. Come on, talk to me. I release myself by force in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, come through for me. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to call on the Holy Ghost. Begin to call on the Holy Ghost. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free from every evil spirit. Every evil spirit that has been controlling my family. Every free, every evil spirit that has been controlling my family. That has been bringing battles to my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Set us free. Rabba Iyala masoto kodi ya baha, rabashiona makodi ya masa, lava yese kodi ya masoto kodi ya baha, liba soto kodi ya masikodi ya masonda. Even as I now, as I'm praying through what I'm fighting right now, because of what they don't want me to say, because of how they don't want me to push, I will still push Holy Spirit. Give me strength, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Father, I speak to every living object. I speak to every non-living object. Right now, whatever has been used to represent my destiny, whatever it is, my God, wherever it is, in that altar, in that shrine, I speak against you right now. I approach you right now. You cannot hold me down anymore. Yes, I will speak with every breath, with every last breath in me. Even if it's my last breath, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Oria masota kalia masenderi amashe ia la 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 basoko ria masenderi amashondo ria basonda set yourself free set yourself free karabashandalia masondari amahari asende father i speak to everything that has been set to set up a repetitive cycle in my life every evil occurrence that is repeating itself my god in my family loose me by fire loose me by fire holy ghost i loose myself by fire in the mighty name of jesus i loose myself by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ i loose myself by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ i loose myself by fire in the name of jesus christ every Living thing that is holding me back, whatever object you are, wherever they have put my photo, wherever they have put your name, wherever they have written your name, wherever they are making incantations against your name right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command that right now it catches fire, that altar, that shrine catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, we command every altar of wickedness to die. We command that 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 altar of wickedness to die. In the name of Jesus Christ, that altar that is affecting your bloodline, I command it to die. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every agreement that has been made, whether it was made intentionally, whether it was made unintentionally, hallelujah, whether it was meant neg me or made negligently, hallelujah, whatever contract that has been entered with the devil in my family line, oh God, in the lives out of those that, that are listening to the sound of my voice, every single prayer that I'm praying, I want you to personalize it for yourself and, and claim it for yourself, loose yourself right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is affecting your destiny, we command it to scatter by fire. We command it to scatter by fire. We command it to be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. We command it to be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I need somebody who's ready to shout. Everybody who's ready to shout, Holy Ghost seven times call on the holy ghost seven times if you're ready i'm ready number one holy ghost fire 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 
Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Rabo shikoli amasonda ki alabasonda di amasanda. As I've shouted that Holy Ghost fire seven times. That Holy Ghost is fighting right now. It's chasing out. That fire is chasing out every spirit of rejection. That Holy Ghost is re- is, 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 is chasing out every, every spirit of rejection. Every spirit of rejection. We speak to every spirit of rejection in your family right now. Holy Ghost fire, chase it out. Chase it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of non-achievement. Lord, we speak to every spirit of non-achievement. Every spirit of non-achievement in your family bloodline right now. We speak to it right now. Wherever you are operating from, whoever authorized you right now, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we are crying out in the Holy Spirit right now. We cry out by fire. We cry out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We cry out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We cry out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We cry out of the fire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We rebuke every spirit of non-achievement. Every spirit of non-achievement. We command you to come out by fire. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of delay. Begin to address every spirit of delay. Begin to address every spirit of delay. Every spirit of marital delay. Every spirit of financial delay. Every spirit of academic delay. Begin to address it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you shout Holy Ghost fire. The fire of the Lord is being consumed by the fire of the Lord. The Holy Ghost fire is consuming it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the spirit of delay right now. Every spirit of delay that is operating in your family. Cry out by fire. Cry out by fire. Cry out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Cry out by the Father of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We cry out by the blood of Jesus. Right now, every spirit of delay, it is rebuked by the blood of Jesus. Begin to address every spirit of limitation. Father, we speak to every spirit of limitation affecting our destiny. Begin to address it right now. What do you want it to happen? What do you want to happen to that spirit of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? We command it to loose us. Loose me by fire. Loose me by fire. Loose me by fire. Loose me by fire. Oh, every spirit of limitation, I loose myself from you. I loose myself. Loose me by fire. Loose me by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rabosha koria maso to koria beshe libasondo koria maso to koria mashe koria masondo do 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 bosha iyala la 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 bashu koria masonda ki iyala bashende iyala la la baso to koria masanda da 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 bashi elelele bese rabosha to koria masondo li bashi iyala la la basonda begin to address every spirit of failure at the edge of success every spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough every spirit of failure at the edge of success every spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough right now in the mighty name of jesus christ we command you to loose your grip loose your grip loose your grip begin to fire out those tongues begin to speak in tongues right now in the mighty name of jesus christ robo bobo shiala masoto kodia mashe Liba soto kore shi kalama sata karia basande. Every spirit of failure at the edge of success. Every spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough. Makoria masondo lia masanda. I command you to loose your grip. Loose your grip. Loose your grip over Rispa right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Sophie right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Amelia right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Mucha right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Oscar right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Bongiwa right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Michelle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip over Tulani right now. You spirit of failure, I rebuke you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rabo shando kila basondo koria mashende leke seke te kere basondo do 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 bosa. 
Ramashata kana masata kane media la mano do 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 bosha ila la la masaka ria masanda re la ba sheke de masoto kori masande ika la masonda we are here to wait on you O God we are here to wait on you O God we are here to wait on you O God we will not move until you send us your touch O God we will not move until we see you, that lifting O God we will not move until you lifted us lift us out of that grave lift us out take us out of that grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ makora basanda lia masonda tembisile he's lifting you out in the name of Jesus Christ makoda mashoto toto mokodi masanda la 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 basonda kiara masanda begin to mention your name right there in the comment section makora basonda lia masende as you are declaring make sure you are mentioning your name mentioning your name mention your name right there as you are declaring whatever prayer you are saying my god makori masonda speak holy spirit makari masonda begin to address the spirit of condemnation i hear the holy spirit says we are needing to address the spirit of condemnation we speak to the spirit of condemnation we speak to the spirit of condemnation we speak to the spirit of confusion whatever spirit of condemnation that has been destroying destinies and families we speak to you right now we command you to loose your grip over our lives and over our families lives in the name of jesus christ we speak to the spirit of confusion right now i command you to leave 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 exit Rabashondo Korea Maseli Yamasoto Kura Baba Baba Yes Yala Baba Babashi Rababa Basio Lorobosha Kanya Lala Basiana Masio Lorobosha Yala Lala Baso Korea Masonda Rode Yes Yala Maso Korea Masonda Yala Lala Lala Basonda Kiala Lala Basende Yala Lala Basio Lorobosondo Yamasonda Luce 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 Begin to address the spirit of untimely death right now. Every spirit of untimely death. Untimely death. We speak to you right now. Every spirit of untimely death. We are tired of having funerals every week. We address the spirit of untimely death right now. Every affliction in your family line. And every affliction of untimely death in your bloodline right now. Loose your hold. Loose your hold in Jesus mighty name. Loose your hold speedily by fire, you untimely death. Loose your hold from me speedily by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. No more burials this year. No more burials this year. You've robbed us enough. We speak to the spirit of confusion right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak to the spirit of incompletion. Starting projects and not finishing them. We speak to the spirit of instability. Lord, we will have stability in our lives. We will attract stability in our lives. We will attract stable associations. We will attract stable associations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stable marriages. Father, we call for stable marriages. Flourishing marriages. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break the curse of divorce. We break the spirit of divorce. In the name of Jesus. However they gained entrance in your life. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Whatever the evil pattern that made that entrance possible. Right now I command you to scatter. Scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every tongue that is rising against your progress, that is rising up against your progress, right now, begin to condemn it. I condemn every tongue that is rising up, speaking against my progress, speaking against the progress of my family, speaking against the progress of my children. I speak to that thing that is speaking against the progress of Nogwanda, speaking against the progress of Samuel, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold. Loose your hold from my children. I speak to that spirit of arthritis. 
Loose your hold from my family. Loose your hold from my aunts. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see chains breaking right now. I see chains breaking right now. I see chains breaking right now. Rabashi koda basoto koria masa takalia maselia mahariara. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. My God, I unchain myself. I unchain everybody listening to the sound of my voice. I unchain myself from every chain of every evil family pattern. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that you are unchained. You are loosed. You are unchained. You are unchained in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, disconnect us from a life of evil patterns. Disconnect us from evil cycles. Evil patterns, evil cycles, disconnect for us. Disconnect us from it in Jesus' name. Disconnect our family from evil patterns in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to command revival on everything that has died. Everything that has been destroyed. In your life. Makoraba shoto kodi ebesi. La koraba si elelelebesia. Everything that has been destroyed in your life. The Lord says I'm reviving it right now in the name of Jesus. Robo shia la 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 masonda dia masanda. Lion he's reviving it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm reviving everything that has been destroyed. I am reviving it mucha. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I disconnect you from every evil repetition. I disconnect you from every evil repetition. Tobelisha, I disconnect you from every, every evil repetition. You are not meant to be stuck in the village. I command a breakthrough for your family. That thing that has been speaking and saying you will not make it. That you will not achieve beyond a particular point. You will reach the heights that you have not reached before. Specifically in areas of education. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare that I con com command every venom, every poison of evil pattern, every venom of evil pattern in our family lines. Right now, we loose, we break ourselves from it right now in Jesus' mighty name. We are disconnecting from every evil repetition. Continue praying. Continue pushing in the spirit. There's, some, there's a heaviness that is on me. Some of you are feeling this heaviness already. That is the Holy Spirit. 
To be I hope that makes sense because what I saw in the spirit is that I saw that there was limitation. That there's a limitation in terms of, 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 of career. There's a limitation in terms of where your family reaches in terms of education. Disconnect yourself. Unchain yourself. Unchain yourself. I want you to see the chains falling right now. Your angels are standing right beside you. They are unchaining you. Mom just said he's lifting the weight that you're feeling. He says, I'm lifting the weight. I'm lifting the weight. You've been feeling heavily burdened. Everything is on your shoulders. He says, I'm lifting the weight. I'm lifting the weight. I see the Lord lifting the weight off you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Let that be your declaration right now. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Zimgita, you've been yearning for this fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Set me on fire. Make me too hot for every evil pattern. Make me too hot. Make me too hot to handle. I don't know why I, I'm keep I keep on being returned. I'm in your village. That means that I'm fighting a territorial demon. I'm fighting territorial demons. This is more than a family pattern that you're fighting. It's a territorial demon. There is a limitation ceiling that has been set in your village. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Set me on fire, Holy Ghost. Somebody declare it again. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Father, I speak to every territorial principality. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Robo shiala la la masonda kila bashonde di amase keli amasanda di amasande. Rika sondo di amasonda. The Lord is taking me to KZN. I'm in the KZN region. Who am I talking to? I'm in the Maritzburg area. I hear Peter Maritzburg. And I'm busy fighting territorial, territorial demons. There's too much blood. There's too much blood that has been spilled. Des. Roboshia bongiwe. Makoria masonda lia maseke lia mashondo dia mashe. Ika ndumaiza. My God. <laughs> you really made a demand on this, eh? Right then, Peter Marisbeck, that's you. Okay, let's see where the Holy Ghost takes us. I see you, Port Shepston. Demise, I'm in Peter Maritzburg. Let's see what the Holy Spirit is saying. Marco Rebeshia la 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 vasio. Rico sondo di amasho toko di amashi. Kalama sondo di amashi. Manifest! I want you to pray right now and say, My life begin to manifest. Begin to manifest divine patterns.
My life begin to manifest divine patterns in the name of Jesus Christ. The failure that happened in the lives of your parents will not happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Rako soto kodi emeshe, keliaba soto kodi emeshe. Dumaiza, the failure of your parents shall not be your failure in the name of Jesus Christ. Rako sonda di amasonda, I speak to every witchcraft implantation in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now, hold your navel. Put your both your hands on your navel right now. Put both of your hands on your navel. It's going to be a quick one. You'll be back on the comment section. I want you to pray this prayer. Every plantation, every plantation of witchcraft in my family line, what are you waiting for? I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot you from my navel. I cut off any umbilical cord that is tying me to that negative foundation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot you now. I cut off the umbilical cord right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak. I ask for mercy, Lord, for everybody who's in KZN. I ask for mercy. There's an unusual fight that families in KZN are fighting. There's an unusual fight that families are fighting. In particular, from the male side, husbands who are being made as if they are inadequate because they are unable to provide. I'm speaking to several families here. Your father has not worked for years. Who are you? Your mother is the one who's been going in and out and working. He said, love your wife as Christ loves the church. And he says, I am the provider. I am the head. Do you understand what, what messes with the psychology of a man when it's always the woman who's always going out to work and come back? Jesus. Mendeza, is that you? It's been plaguing your family for years. Des, Masiho. I uproot you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold. That spirit of joblessness, loose your hold in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I command every father that has good intentions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every father that has good intentions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to support his children. To maintain his children in the mighty name of Jesus. Just give me a second. Let me just put this thing on the charger. Okay. Let's continue. Come up again. Bring back that, that prayer request on Mara Official. I want you to tell me your brother's name. Your brother has not worked and, and the children have been restricted from seeing him because he does not have money to support, to pay the maintenance fee. Give me your brother's name and surname. Father, I speak to those who are fighting siblings, rivalry, people who are fighting in their families right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command unity to come through in the name of Jesus Christ. Robo Shanda Kila Basonda. God bless you, Horata. Nella, is it Lucian Vertain? Okay. You as well, Des. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to Lucian. Let me make sure I pronounce people. Lucian. Lucian, may the Lord restore you in the name of Jesus Christ. Des Moodley, may the Lord restore you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that job to locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command favor and grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray against sibling rivalry right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It stops now. If that, that evil pattern stops now. No more sibling rivalry. No more fighting. It's a shame when you have children to fight over inheritances that they did not build. It's a shame when you have people who are fighting. Good morning. Good morning, everybody who's coming in. We are destroying evil patterns. Welcome. You are welcome to join us and let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what we have, but we thank you for what is to come. After these prayers, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I'm still speaking to the men in KZN. Who are exhausted. They are exhausted. Father, revive them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Revive them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as I pray for those who are in KZN, I'm also praying and you stand in agreement. Des, I'm only doing what the Holy Spirit has said, my darling. If he has called me to speak for you today, it's okay. I saw it very clearly. My God. Let's travel together in the Spirit, shall we? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the God of success is visiting you. Those of you who are believing God for a good spouse, a good husband, a good, good wife, your marital life shall be settled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every pattern of household witchcraft in your family, I bury you today in Jesus' mighty name. I bury every household witchcraft, witchcraft performed by parents against their children. I bury you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, every stronghold of death, every stronghold of death, every stronghold of tragedy, I command it to scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Refenser, for receiving that marital settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive what the Holy Spirit is, re is releasing right now. Don't wait for me to mention your name because I know he's already speaking. He's already confirming in the spirit. He's confirming in your heart. Some of you is confirming in your belly. Some of you, there's a heavy weight on your back, on your head. He's saying, I'm resting on you. That is my hand. My right hand is resting on you. And is about to lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Every household witchcraft is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the Lord says that we should pray even more. Every messenger of death. That is operating in your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every messenger of death, we command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for removing every evil garment, every evil pattern against our divine goals. Everything that you have set aside for us in Jesus' mighty name, every divine goal shall be achieved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of evil pattern be roasted, be roasted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. 
Moses, the Lord is removing that evil garment. That evil pattern, that garment of evil pattern. The Lord says, where is Moses? Really, Bukenya, it's the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, basunda. Ah, basanda. Every serpentine spirit right now, I rebuke you. I command you to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That serpentine spirit that is manifesting right now, I command you to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Anaki, let your son receive the healing of the Holy Ghost right now. Let the blood of Jesus speak for him. In that ICU, may you receive a good report. In the next three hours, may you receive the good report that he had the best nights, the most better nights of the ever. Hallelujah. Roko soto kodia masondo kiaba sonda dadabasa. Whatever is prohibiting you, Wakuma, you need to deal with it. Because that thing that does not want you to serve God is an evil pattern. It's a foundation you need to deal with. Rako soto kodia masonda dadabasa. Thank you, Jesus. Destroy that evil pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rako soto kodia masata kalia masonda dia masa. Every giant of almost there, every giant of almost made it, every giant of almost, I almost had my breakthrough. I almost went through my open door. We command that almost giant to die right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, if it had not been for the Lord, where would we be? Where would we be? You are a giant killer, Bushali. I love the spirit of fighting that you came with. Hallelujah. You are indeed a giant killer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to start commanding that evil pattern of poverty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This you are manifesting right now. Holy Spirit. Right now as I stretch out my hand. That thing that is manifesting inside of death smoothly right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Intercessors, I need you right now. Things are happening in people's homes right now. Please make sure that you don't hurt yourself. Whatever you need to move out of the way, that is a sharp object, move it out of the way. Move it out of the way right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to keep crying out unto the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Des, keep crying out to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You are being delivered. That is, what you're experiencing is deliverance right now. It's unwinding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rebuke that serpentine spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I pronounce you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pronounce you free right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Esther, you are feeling very strange. Tell me what you are feeling, my darling. Keep on speaking in tongues and keep on rebuking that feeling. If it feels strange in a negative way, you rebuke it. It's coming out right now in Jesus' mighty name. If it's feeling strange, it is that demonic activity. It's that spirit that is trying to come out command it to come out you keep on commanding it come out you are coming out there's a moving object i speak to that moving object right now it's coming out is it in your belly esther in the name of jesus christ it's coming out in the name of jesus christ karabashonda refencing roko sondo liamasonda it's a familiar spirit what you're experiencing 
I command that familiar spirit to leave you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Refense, tell me about what you see. Tell me about your calling, my baby. Tell me about your dreams. Makora ba shandali aba sondo di aba shekeli aba soto ri aba sende. Ia la 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 ba sondo ki ala ba sanda. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. If you feel the cold sensation, if you feel the heavy sensation, if you feel a warm sensation, the Holy Ghost manifests Himself in different ways. It's never the same. It's never the same with everybody. Don't limit God. In the same way that he visited you, he will not necessarily visit you today. He could be coming in a different way. But this is the guidance that I'm giving you, the peace that you will feel. The peace that you will feel. Mm. I've already rebuked that serpentine spirit. Esther, you need to now receive it and believe it. I want you to cough it out. That snake that you ate in the dream, I want you to cough it out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Des continues to speak in tongues. It's your time for deliverance. It's my time for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out. Oh my God, I wish you could hear Boshale right now. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Begin to command the spirit of poverty to come out. We command you to come out. We speak to every spirit of poverty. We command you to come out. You are coming out. You don't have a choice in the matter. You are coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's coming out. If it feels strange, if it feels funny, it's a spirit. It's trying to remain in there. Those of you who are groaning and you are, you are gro What's the word? Some of you are, you are actually having a, you are speaking through a different voice. You are speaking through a different voice right now. It's not you. It's the thing inside that's refusing to come out. I need you to command it to come out. God bless you for the gifts. Commanded to come out. It's coming out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. By the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It hears the word of God. It has to come out. Every spirit of poverty, we command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that even the spirit of poverty would want to manifest itself in a different way in your body as if you are having some phys physical ailment? No, it's poverty. It's wanting to eat to... You will sleep well, Maria, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of insomnia in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. You saw the two snakes coming out. Wow. Labo shondo kia la la lava sonda diamase. Ika la 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 ba shondo diamasondo diamasonda. Moses, did you miss it? I already spoke. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for Kensani's dissertation shall be approved in Jesus' mighty name. In this atmosphere of the Holy Spirit, in this atmosphere of your presence right now, in Jesus' mighty name, every document that needs approval, every application that needs approval, right now I speak to those documents. If you have them close by to you, touch them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Wow, Des, that's hectic. It's coming out, it's coming out. I'm glad you're saying it's coming out. Depression is fleeing out. 
Every snake. There's too many snake serpentine spirits going on. I'm seeing too much serpentine spirits being Roshialama Soto. Let me try and see what they're saying on Facebook. Shame. I don't want to leave you behind. You are lifted in Jesus' mighty name. Loose yourself by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Be delivered from every sickness, every disease, every repeated evil pattern, every disease. Right now, guys, come on. I need you to push in the spirit. You are feeling much heat. Your throat feels ticklish. Michelle, you are rising up and you are commanding those spirits to go. In Jesus' mighty name, you use your mouth. You speak. Some of you who don't have full names. There's a reason why I ask you to give me your name and your surname. When you're asking me for something particular, I want to speak to your spirit man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every spirit of poverty, every bacteria of poverty, when I speak to the spirit of poverty, I'm speaking to the spirit of, of financial issues. I'm speaking to the spirit of, of, of uh, joblessness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Non dumiso mabia, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will never be sluggish in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life will attract divine prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm just seeing divine prosperity all around you in Dumaiza. I see divine prosperity. I did not take you so far to leave you right now, overcomer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They tried to kill you, but they did not succeed. Begin to rebuke that evil pattern. Oh, Jesus. Watchmen are awake this evening. Watchmen are awake this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every pattern of chronic disease in your life to cease. Every pattern of chronic disease, I command it to cease right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Basitana. No more chronic diseases. I command it to cease. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pattern of every infirmity in your life, in your bloodline, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Break. I disconnect you from every evil calendar. I disconnect you from every, every evil calendar, Victor. I disconnect you from every evil calendar, Ovi. I disconnect you from every evil calendar, Bukenya. May the Lord do you well. May the Lord restore you fully in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord do you well, Moses. May the Lord do you well, Rispa. Your faithfulness shall be rewarded. A faithful wife who can find like you. Your, your husband is very blessed. Your husband is very blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we command that Philista is receiving fruit of the womb right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Philistia, receive your child right now. Conceive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to disconnect your life from every evil calendar. Come on, push, 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 push. We're not done. We're not done. The Holy Spirit is not done. Unless you, God bless you. Father, I speak to every river of anger. I speak to every river of anger, every river of sadness. I command them to dry up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to dry up by the name of Jesus Christ. By fire, it's drying up right now. Crying shall not be your lot again. The Lord is wiping your tears. Karabo, the Lord is wiping your tears. Zamangete, the Lord is wiping your tears. You came in at the right time. The Holy Spirit says, I'm wiping your tears. Crying shall no longer be your lot in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, help them locate their rightful spouses. Help them locate their destiny spouses. Let nobody catch uh, the wrong revelation. Let nobody choose incorrectly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every curse of disorder and fear upon your family. Right now, I command it to be broken by fire. Begin to be broken by fire. Every curse of disorder. No longer shall you live a disordered life. No longer shall you dis live a life of fear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, manifest your glory. Manifest your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are coming in, thank you so much for coming in. Please make sure you are following the house account that you are watching me from. Please give me a follow and make sure that you are turning on the notification bell. Every single day at 5 a.m. we are here. One hour of protocol breaking prayers and at 10 p.m. South African Standard Time. I invite you to be part of this family of watchmen, this family of intercessors, where we don't take things for granted, where we decide that we are fighting. Today is a unique day because we are having three hours nonstop prayer. And we will still have our meeting at 5 a.m. We will still pray. We will still rise. We will still keep our vow with God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everybody who's following. Hallelujah. You will never make a mistake again. You will not regret. It's an act of, of you standing in agreement that we are here, Lord. We are going to depopulate hell and we are going to populate heaven and we are going to expand the kingdom of God. Oh, Lord, manifest your glory in our families, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, every curse of disorder is removed. Amelia. Every disorder in your life is broken by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Chantal, you will not have any complications in your pregnancy in Jesus' mighty name. Every pattern of failure, begin to address every pattern of failure, guys. Let's go. Let's push in the spirit. Come on. You need to speak in tongues. Some of you are now idling by. You are waiting for a prophetic word, a personal prophetic word. I'm waiting for you to push in the spirit because as you push in the spirit, you are pushing me as well. Apostle, whenever you are ready, you can dial in whenever you are ready. I need you to push in the spirit, guys. Come on. Talk to me. Every pattern of failure in your root, I command it to die in the name of Jesus. I command every pattern of failure in your roots, in your foundations, I command it to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever platform you'd want to start in, I'm fine. If you want to start a bit later, I'm also fine. My God, I wash away every deposit of failure upon everybody that is at the sound of my voice. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every deposit of failure right now, my sicko from you, it washes off. Too much delay, my sicko, too much delay, too much delay. Too much delay it needs to break off, baby. You are fighting something bigger. You are fighting territorial powers. 
Ora ba sholo lolo bo si ana na na masori ya ba sele ya soto kuria. Ia la 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 ba sondo dia ma shekeri ya ba soto toto bo si ala ba. Ia la 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 ba soto kuria ba sone ya na la ba si ala la ba sonda dia ma sholo lolo bo si ya. Rori ya la 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 ba sori ya ba sori ya na 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 ba sora la la ba si ya la 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 ba si ya la 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 ba she. Ia la 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 ba sonda dia ba soto kuria ba si ya la 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 ba sondo lolo lolo bo si ya. Every evil pattern of any unstable spouse, unstable husband, unstable wife, right now, it breaks in the name of Jesus. I want you to command those marriages to align. I want you to deal with every evil pattern that has been unstable, uh, unstabilizing your marriage. Right now, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> The Lord is washing away every form of defilement, however it came, every form of sexual defilement. I hear the Lord in the spirit is saying, I demand purity. It is in purity that I will move. Some of you, your, your breakthrough is in your repentance right now. The issue of sexual impurity, sexual defilement, sexual defilement in the, in the bloodline. And the Lord is saying the reason why you're not getting answers to my prayer, why you are not hearing me well, is because you continuously defile yourself sexually. I need you to pray right now against sexual defilement. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I shall not be defiled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for restoring, 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 restoring. Restoration, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shake away every serpent of sexual immorality hiding in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Every serpent of sexual immorality. We speak to you right now. We see you. We know who you are. Every serpent of sexual immorality breaking marriages. We see you. We know who you are. We command you to be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. Rabo shanda la ba soto koria ba soto koria ba hali ala la la ba se. Every wall of Jericho, every wall of Jericho, every wall of Jericho, every wall of Jericho, I pull you down. Every wall of adultery, I pull you down. Every wall of depression, I pull you down. I speak to every wall, every wall, every wall of sexual impurity. I pull you down. I pull you down. You might want to still mess around with it, but I pull you down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rabo sando dia masoto koriele lelelebesia. You satanic strong men of anger. Rosha kadia basoto koria. You satanic strong men of anger. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been assigned to push you to hell. I command that thing to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Rosho kota maya la basoto kodi ya basonda diya masodi ya mahaya la 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 basie. You will have a functional family. You will have a stable family. Abram Sunday, the reason why you are struggling with your life, for you to even use that word of struggle, that proves already to me that you are dealing with foundational issues that you have not dealt with. And you need to make up your mind that you are worth to fight for. Your life is worth fighting for. And when you find yourself in a platform like this, I need you to fight and push in the spirit. I need you to disconnect yourself from a sinful life. That is what the Holy Spirit is confirming for me. He says, disconnect you from yourself, from anything that represents fear or sin in your life, rather. Disconnect yourself from that thing. And that will give you the confidence to stand. 
Rosho kote kiyama sonda diyama sanda la 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 basia. Every evil pattern of Jezebel spirit in my life, I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, send down your fire right now. Send down your fire right now. Ignite me, ignite me. Let that be your prayer right now. Ignite me, send down your fire. Ignite me, ignite me right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn me into fire on that mountain of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the root cause of, of any bad habit that you have, right now it's uprooted. I uprooted by its branches and its roots in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ignite me, Lord. Ignite me, Lord. Ignite me, Lord. Ignite me, Lord. Ora bashia la 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 basoto koria bashia nde 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 bashia la 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 basio lo 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 bashia. Every ancestral spirit that is responsible for that bad habit, that bad character, that bad personality, that thing that is making you a repellent to people, that thing right now, I speak to it to be utterly destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, strengthen us, oh God, for a holy living pattern in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are here, oh Lord, we are repenting, we are asking for forgiveness right now for every sin. Lord, we speak to unforgiveness as well, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of unforgiveness in our families, oh God, we speak to it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we ask you to arise for us. Send us help. This is our time of need. This is our time of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Bernadette. I want you to say it right now. If you know that you need to ask for forgiveness, you've been hovering up unforgiveness for too long. Go for it, Esther. Push in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let the Lord complete his deliverance. As long as there's nothing that is, he, is injuring you around you, let him have total control. Let him have total control. Declare it. God, I give you control over my body right now. Holy Spirit, overshadow me. Holy Spirit, overshadow me. Oh, Holy Spirit, overshadow him. Kitejo, the Holy Spirit is overshadowing you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is overshadowing you. Of course, he will come through for you. Any unforgiveness that might stop you right now, deal with it right now. My God, arise. Let me recover all my blessings, all my lost blessings. Let me recover all my lost blessings. The, the anointing is manifesting itself in a very heavy way today. I think most of you have never seen me speak this slow in my life. But the, it, it, it's so heavy. I think it's that hand of the Lord. It's just so heavy. God bless you, sissy girl. You're welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command that pain on Kitty to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Give him total control. Holy Spirit, you have total control. Overshadow me, overshadow me in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, repair every damage done to my life by the evil patterns. Oh my God, come on, raise that prayer point right now. Every, everything, everything that has been damaged right now, Lord, repair it. Every damage that has been caused by evil patterns in my life, repair it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Argumentative spirit, I speak to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Repair that argumentative spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that we need to address the issue of bitterness. Petro, the issue is bitterness. There's too much bitterness. Repair, Lord. Every evil pattern, you are destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every damage that has been caused by the evil patterns right now, we speak to those foundations. We speak to those roots in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every curse, every pattern of careless indifference in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every curse, 
every press, every pattern of careless indifference in whatever way you may have been careless in your life. And that thing is affecting your destiny. I command it to break by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil word that has been spoken about you, every evil word that has been spoken about your family right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to backfire. Pray along with me. I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to backfire. Latasha, Latasha. Latasha, Latasha. Every evil word that has been spoken against you right now, I command it to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of spending money recklessly right now to go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I deliver you right now from that spirit of recklessness in Jesus mighty name. I deliver you right now. Let's reverse those evil words, guys. Come on, let's go. Every evil word backfire. Every evil word backfire. Back to sender. Every evil word back to sender. Condemn it. Condemn it. Every evil word, wherever they've spoken. Every evil word in the name of Jesus Christ. The appointment, as long as it is in the will of God, shall happen. In Jesus' mighty name. Every evil word backfire. I decree and I declare that you shall reach your goal. You shall reach your goal. Whatever anybody says about you in Jesus' mighty name. You shall reach your goal in Jesus' mighty name. Every power that is magnetizing you to a pattern of confusion. Any power that is making you a magnet to confusion. Right now, I bury that power right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bury it alive in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, your, your, your prayer life will be strengthened. From today, you will be fighting more. The Lord is raising watchmen here. The Lord is raising watchmen. That spirit of sleepiness is going to go. Back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil word spoken against you, KB, is rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ. It backfires to them wherever it came from in Jesus' mighty name. No longer shall you be confused and be turning around and, and, and going back to the edge of breakthrough. I'm always going to almost breakthrough. Almost made it. Oh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Somebody say enough is enough. Teniso, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Bukenya, your spirit is going to is gonna unlock doors for you. Keep fighting, keep pushing. Enough is enough. Every cycle of confusion. We speak to every cycle of confusion operating in your life. Right now, we command it to break. I'm 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 talking to the spirit of confusion right now. I uproot you, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Roshika Lama Soto Koriamashi. Every lying tongue against you. I command it to be roasted by fire. Every lying tongue. Be roasted by fire. Every lying tongue. Be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 Abraham. Sunday. I still hear the same. I loose you from every form of sin. I loose you from that evil pattern in Jesus mighty name. Any evil lie that has been planted in anybody's heart concerning you, concerning your name. I don't know who you are. 
but they've spoken lies about you. You almost lost your job, in fact, because of it. Right now, I want you to receive strength from the Holy Spirit. The Lord is saying he's restoring you. You will not lose that disciplinary hearing in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. If I mention your case, feel free to step forward. Oh, Jesus. Any satanic agent that has ever lied against anybody who's at the sound of my voice. Right now, they receive an angelic slap in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for every business that is represented on this broadcast right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be no evil pattern that affects that business. The Lord is going to make sure that you are let. Those of you who have joined us late, you will watch the replay on, on YouTube. But what I want you to know is this, that you need to deal with the foundations that I, I have been inhibiting your success. There are, there are foundations that have been fighting. There are, there are evil patterns. You have seen the cycle. It's repeating itself in your family, but you have ignored it. And you need to wage spiritual warfare continuously until, until you see the breakthrough. Oh, Apostle, you, you, I think you will start on Mara Official and then we'll go to, 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 um, if you have any request, specific request, feel free because I see because of time we are left with 30 minutes. We're going to push through still in prayer. But um, if Apostle sees anything specific about somebody, I'm giving you the latitude to just jump in if you want to jump in. Thank you, Jesus. Every family fountain that is chasing away your helpers, I speak to it right now. I command that fountain to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Rosemary, state your case. Just state your case. Give me your name and send him. State your case. Let me speak to your ancestors. Let me speak directly to them. Let me address the evil patterns that come from that family. I need to know your family name. Pedmark, I have been praying for marriages, but for your benefit, my darling, the Lord has spoken and said he is giving stability. Sunday, you heard what I said. I gave you an instruction. Sunday, for the next seven days, if you are willing, go on a prayer and fasting. For seven days, each day, six to six. If you can push till the night, push to, 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 to the night time, till 9, 9 p.m. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for that operation for Olive right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything shall go well. No complications in the name of Jesus Christ. Every person who is sick, Who's on this broadcast by virtue of you being on this broadcast. Guys, you need to understand that you are being spiritually empowered. You are not only here for me to pray for you, but you are being spiritually empowered. That is why I teach at the beginning before I start praying. I teach so that I equip you to know what to do. I need you to fight. I don't need you to panic. I don't need you to fear. I need you to fight. I need you to push. I need you to push. You are well and good indeed in Jesus' mighty name. Roshi Kalama Soto Kodiaba.
Some of these prayer requests should have already changed by now. I told you, in thanksgiving, you are confirming because certain things God has already done in Jesus' mighty name. Your business shall do well, Des. You cannot receive such a heavy deliverance today and not, and not break through in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Manifest yourself. Somebody raise a prayer there in the comment section. Lord, pour your favor. Pour your anointing of favor. Pour your anointing of favor. I ask some of you to bring your anointing oil bottles. You can bring your anointing boy oil uh, right now. You can open it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm raising this prayer point for this anointing, for favor upon your life right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for this anointing oil, O oh God. We dedicate this anointing oil, O oh God. This is the anointing oil that will break and destroy every evil pattern in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. It is a symbolic sign, O oh God, of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And by this anointing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every power, as you stretch out your hand towards the screen for me, every power that has been attacking your blessing by day, by night, Contact the anointing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As you lay your hands, as I stretch out my hand right now, I want you to stretch out your hand towards the screen right now. Those of you who are also standing in the gap for those of you who are sick in your families right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That power are taking your destiny. That power are taking your blessing day and night. It will vanish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. He's giving you an anointing of a winner. He's giving you an anointing of a winner. Facebook and YouTube, you are receiving the anointing of a winner. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every hidden curse is being removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hidden curse of, 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 of an evil pattern. Riding on the horse of your destiny. I pull you down by fire. I pull you down by this fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I pull you down. By fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every rearrangement of your destiny. Every rearrangement of your destiny. Through any curse of evil pattern. Any curse. Any rearrangement. That has occasioned a curse. In your life. Of evil patterns. We command it to be reversed by fire. We command it to be reversed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will continue to use your anointing oil as you wish in your house on those who are sick on yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need you to declare in the comment section, I refuse to work like an elephant and eat like an ant. Hallelujah. I refuse to work like an elephant and eat like an ant. I'm breaking that evil pattern. I will succeed. I will have more than plenty. My family will have more than enough. Pour out your anointing of favor. Pour out your anointing of favor. I taught you the other day, I said, when God is to manifest anything on this earth, he does it through a man. Your destiny is through a man. It will be unlocked by another person. You may have prayed and God has already granted it. 
That is why the next point, when I'm saying that we are, I'm releasing the anointing of favor, I want you to also pray and say, God, I'm pray, I'm, I'm favored by men and I'm favored by God. I'm favored by God and I'm favored by men because we want to unlock the destiny helpers right now. Every destiny helper be released. Locate me now, my destiny helper. Now that I've dealt with my evil patterns, now that there's no reason for you to hold back, now that there's no reason for you to, to resist coming through for me. Oh, Jesus. You will not eat like an ant and work like an elephant. You are working hard every single day. You don't know where your money is coming from or is going. No, 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 no. Every evil pattern is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Or every single problem that has to do with promotions for anybody who's on this platform. Right now, if that is you, say, that's me. Oh. Every problem is becoming a promotion in the spirit right now. Every problem is becoming a promotion right now. That problem is your promotion. That problem is your promotion right now. The grace has already been released. The grace has already been released. But you need to manifest it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare those promotions, oh God. I pull them down from the east, the west, the north, and the south. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. We're in the overflow, Mom Jester. You're right. Every pattern of laziness is rebuked. Every pattern of slavery from your foundations, I command them to break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every pattern of laziness to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose yourself, loose yourself. Loose yourself from every grip, every control of family idols. Chris, I saw you, I know you've not commented yet. But I'm going to your house. Chris, can I have your surname, please? Rosha Kaliaba Sondo Dodoboshia Kaliaba Sondo Dodoboshia Makoria Sondo Diaba Soto Kodia. I don't know if you're still here, but Chris, you need to deal with those foundations. Those foundations that say that you will not travel outside of Nigeria. Makoraba Sondo Diaba Soto Kodia Basia La La Basi. Father, we ask for mercy. We ask for intervention, O oh God. Intervention in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every problem in your life that has been promoted by idol worship, right now it dies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for saying yes to fighting for your life. Thank you for saying yes to destroying those evil foundations in your life. Thank you. God bless everybody who's on this broadcast. Please make sure you are following the broadcaster. And you click on that notification bell. Oh my God, I don't know what you are receiving right now, but I want to see you declare it in the comment section. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for delivering us from every evil pattern that is emanating from whatever direction. Every arrow of mental disorder, I deal with you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I deal with every mental disorder that has been fired into that brain right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's going back to sender. I'm speaking specifically to somebody right now who has been suffering with mental illnesses. It's like your brain is on fire right now. Come forth. It's like your brain is on fire. It's going back to sender. They're sending confusion. You've not even been able to write exams. 
You can't finish your school because every time you're trying to focus on school, something is like your brain is on fire. Who am I talking to? Any time that you have to write exams, any time that you're trying to improve yourself, any time that you want to upskill yourself, my God. Oh, Shanda Kia la 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 ma soto kodiaba. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Is it's not possible? You you must understand that you have to recognize that there's an evil pattern at work here. It cannot be so many things that are happening to you. Only you repeatedly. No 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 no. Okay, sorry. Um, Governor General, God bless you. Um, you are healed from that migraine headache. Okay, so Menti, I'm talking about your niece, Letabo. Oh, Jesus. What's, her, what's Letabo's surname? Please give me Letabo's surname. Let me call him by his, his name. Letabo. I speak to you right now. That, that fire in your brain. I command it to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. User 1662, please give me your son's name. Guys, I'm trying to read as fast as I can. I, I, I can see a lot of confirmations coming through. They want to shame you. They want, they, 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 they're trying to, to, to confuse your child because they know it's going to be a distraction on you because they don't want you to succeed. You need to understand that this evil pattern that is being shot, this kind of arrow is basically being sent to say, nobody shall lift, shall, shall lift the family's head. Junior Brown from New Jersey. Right now I speak to you in Jesus mighty name. Your head will be lifted. Grace, grace upon you. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I ask for your mercy. It's a lot. Sissy girl. Esile. 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 I command peace in your brain right now. I rebuke that mental issue. That curse that they sent towards you. I send it back to sender. I speak to you right now. Your brain is coming back to normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Letabo Mudisele, I speak to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall lift your family's head. You shall lift your family's head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That evil pattern was meant to destroy you. It's fired to your child because they don't want your child to rise. Oh, Nazli, 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 I command that pain to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that headache to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that cold that you are feeling, that is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is taking over right now. Let the Holy Spirit take over. If he chooses to manifest that way in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for Daphne's son to finish that metric in Jesus' mighty name. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, remember we are back here at 5 a.m., right? We are back here at 5 a.m. So we're going to take a break at 3 o'clock. We're still going on for the next 15 minutes. So we're pushing through. But we are back at 5 a.m. for one hour again for our usual time slot, 5 a.m. South African time. So that means from two hours, 15 minutes from now, we are back here at 5 a.m., but right now we are pushing through. I'm requesting kindly everybody who's on the sound of my voice as I pray for you right now, kindly give me a follow and, and click on the notification bell. That's all I'm asking from you right now. 
I'm asking you to join this family of watchmen. I'm asking you to just confirm that you are standing in agreement with me, that we're going to fight these, these altars. We're going to fight these evil foundations. We're going to fight these evil patterns right now. I just ask you that I don't I don't want I don't want any cent from you. You can give if you want, but I I just want to stand in the gap. I want you to stand in the gap with me. I want you to to know that I'm I'm raising watchmen, people who are going to be a prayer nation, people who are going to stand for their destiny, people who are going to restore their destinies and the people who are going to fight for their families. Father, I speak to those drug addictions in the name of Jesus Christ to mellow George, in the name of Jesus Christ, the next time you take a cigarette smoke, it will be like, it will, you will be like drinking ink. You will be so disgusted. Let those drugs begin to repel themselves from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray and we thank you, Lord, for restoration of sight in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We reverse that diabetes early. We reverse those symptoms, that those symptoms, those effects, everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Miko Sigalele, you will concentrate in your studies. That pattern, that pattern that you have children who are blinded. Anytime, I don't know, the Holy Spirit has me here. I'm still in the school. Your child, you, the, the eyes get swollen. The eyes get swollen every time. They touch a book. They want to study, especially when they are studying for exams. Who am I talking to? Michaela, you will you will have that restoration. Nazli, that's a very heavy foundation that you need to fight. Hey, that's a you need to fight. You need to break it right now. I destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break that witchcraft foundation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lucky boy, I pray for you. You are delivered from drug addiction in the name of Jesus Christ. Lucky boy, you are delivered from drug addiction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, make sure you are giving me a follow and you're tapping on the screen. He's struggling to study his book and he's swelling. his eyes are swelling, Wendy. And he's not faking it. It's spiritual. Father, I speak to every insomnia. I speak to every severe headache. Veronique, the Lord is, is healing you from those severe headaches in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will believe it and receive it and you will run with it in the name of Jesus Christ. That child that I've just spoken for, I know he might be sleeping right now. Can you do me a favor and get a glass of water? And just come with it and, and just be praying with it. And then when he wakes up, give him that glass of water and put some water in your hand and lay it on lay hands on him, on his eyes, and speak what you need to see, what he needs to see whenever he holds that book again. I pray for that water right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that water will carry healing. Stomach ulcers, back aches, my God. Blessed Rose. Rosalia Tedo, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Blessed Rose's husband, we thank you for healing. For those numb feet. Blessed Rose, is your husband having high blood pressure? Welcome to those who are joining. This is the protocol breaking prayer altar. Hallelujah. 
where God is releasing protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. He's suspending all protocols. Tonight, he's suspending all protocols for us to make sure that we achieve that every, every evil pattern will be destroyed. Things that our ancestors did, since things that we were not responsible for, things that we had no hand in. And we are saying we do not have a hand in this. We do not want to be part of those covenants. God bless you, Kamo, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for every abdominal pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow fired from every demonic system, whatever spirits our ancestors covenanted with. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command those demon spirits to be shattered to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they are cooking your name in every evil pot that is cooking your name against your destiny success. Right now, I command that pot to break by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. It's breaking and for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pot where they put your name in right now, it breaks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance right now in Jesus mighty name. Oh, Kadaba Shandalia Basunda. Bianca, that's heavy witchcraft. Hey, they're trying right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Very specific dog hair. My God. Makoria Basunda. I command that dog hair to come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That spirit of hatred, sorry, I missed your name. It's moving very fast. That is definitely a foundational issue. For you to get to that point where you can feel the hatred of your mother, your own birth mother. And if you know that you have been on the wrong, the right side of things concerning her and your relationship, you know that there's a foundational issue that is coming there. And I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Sipo, that spirit of laziness and complacency is rebuked in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every evil pattern of every horrible dream in your life right now, it breaks in Jesus' mighty name by fire. Let every evil pattern of satanic discipline in your life be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Every destructive pattern, every destructive habit is, is being destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to declare now as we're getting closer to the closing time. My life will begin to manifest the divine pattern of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My life will manifest the divine pattern of God. <laughs> Rispa says I'm here till five. Rispa says we should not stop. Rispa says we should go on until five and we continue. My God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is controlling your issue? What is muttering you? Contend with my contenders, my God. I will manifest the divine pattern of God. Somebody shouted again in the comment session, Holy Ghost set me on fire. 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 Sarah from Zambia, say it with me. Holy Ghost set me on fire. As you are saying it with me, something, you're going to feel something in your spirit right now. Holy Ghost set me on fire. Set me on fire. As you are saying, you are, he's setting you on fire. He's going to make you too hot to handle. The evil pattern will be, it's too hot. We're making it too hot for demonic, demonic oppression. Demonic oppression cannot touch you because Holy Ghost has put you on fire. You are on the mountain of fire. Hallelujah. The Lord is sending his angels right now to bring each member of your family out of the darkness into his marvelous light right now. They are coming out. 
Larry, they are coming out of darkness. They are coming into the marvelous light in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. You power, you destructive pattern, you habit, you, be, you, you are being destroyed right now. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Every evil pattern is being destroyed as I'm being set on fire by the Holy Ghost, as I'm being empowered to be set on fire by the Holy Ghost, as my spiritual eyes are opened on by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, you are coming out of financial debt in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the Lord has drawn the line. The battle lines have been drawn. Every power of the wicked avenger upon your family right now is being destroyed. I don't know what wickedness has been happening in your family, but it is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Set me on fire. Set me on fire, Jesus. Set me on fire, Jesus. Set me on fire. Yes, Chris, he has set you on fire. He has set you on fire and he's, he's enlarging your territory. He's enlarging your coasts. Set me on fire. What is my name? If my name is the hindrance and to, 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 to me destroying those evil patterns, Father, change my name this day. If it is my surname that is making me fight, if it is territorial powers that I'm fighting right now, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Keep tapping on the screen. Keep clicking on that follow button and that notification bell. Set me on fire, Jesus. Set me on fire, Jesus. I speak to every power that is altering your destiny. I speak to every power that is altering the destiny of your family right now. I command it to be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant under which your family has been laboring in that you didn't know about, and it's a negative covenant right now, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That lady from Zambia, that lady from Zambia, this prayer point resonates with you more. That covenant is being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakespeare, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil dedication that is speaking against your family bloodline be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every curse under which your family is laboring right now. It is being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Sissy girl is a pity you came in late, but let me do this for you. Father, we pray against every marriage breaker in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me her name again. What God has joined together, no man shall put asunder. Father, I speak to Mukhadi. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hear the word of the Lord. It is the word of the Lord. What God has joined together, there is no number three in sight. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost locate you, Mukhaji, wherever you are. Wherever you are. And as I pray and I send that fire to Mukhaji, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you tap in. If you are having an issue of adultery in your family, and you want God to restore you right now, claim it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your desires shall be met. Yes, my tower, he's contending with your contenders. Abdu, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may God meet you at the point of your need. May God meet you at the point of your need. Is your need to travel, Abdu? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to all the gifters. Thank you to those who are following as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's keep pushing. Shady, I destroy every evil pattern in your, in your, in your bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. All spiritual attacks are being addressed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil dedication that is speaking against you and your family it is broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Baba, Allah, I speak to that evil foundation speaking against you. Baba, Allah, when your name popped up on the screen, I don't know whether you have experienced this, but 
I see challenges around the witchcraft issues. I, I actually saw your name on a piece of paper, on an altar. And I'm not saying this to scare you, by the way. I'm saying this to confirm that you are being delivered. Your name, I, I'm, I'm sending that fire. I see that paper catching fire right now. Bianca, it may very well be. In fact, when you mentioned that specifically, the first thing that came in my spirit was voodoo specifically. Welcome, Bridget. Every spirit of anxiety, every spirit of depression, we command you to be lifted out in the name of Jesus Christ. It breaks right now. Anybody who has seen any strange animal, strange animals in your in your in your dreams strange animals when you are sleeping and you are trying to sleep and you are seeing figures around in your room my god makoda bashoto kodia ba sevias i pray for you i command that evil pattern to be destroyed right now let that pattern cease right now in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you a peace that surpasses all understanding to have everything under control. In Jesus' mighty name. Rispa, you can identify, you can relate, yeah? There's some people in your room, you see, you see, you see animals in your room, especially when the light is off. And you are struggling to sleep with your light off. Papa, I actually prayed for you about 20, 15 minutes ago. And I mentioned that there's a potential discipline, disciplinary action. There's a potential disciplinary action. You will, you will not lose your job in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Let mercy speak for you. Let mercy speak for you. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Grace Blessing. This is the Protocol Breaking Prayer Platform where we suspend all protocols. Today, tonight, we've been praying. Friday night, our first Friday night, where we have started at 12 midnight. And we are asking the Lord to destroy evil patterns there are patterns and cycles in our lives that we have noticed. Mm. Yeah, Ovi, that's a lot of, of witchcraft activity. We are praying right now. Every evil pattern to be destroyed. Nobody getting married. Everyone's just getting divorced. You can count at least three generations that are not working. Three generations not working. That instability, that, that job instability, Daphne, you've noticed that there's a pattern of unstable jobs in your family. We pray for journey messes, Mpo. As they are traveling, there will be journey messes. They are covered by the blood of Jesus. They will not land in accidents in Jesus' mighty name. Where's the lady with un unstable jobs? My God. Oh, Father, we pray for Evelyn's sister and mother, God, that there shall be a restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of their relationship that unity shall prevail in Jesus mighty name so those unstable jobs you can't get an you can't they can't get stable jobs it is an evil pattern you need to break it right now and say i break it in the name of jesus christ i break it in the name of jesus christ holy ghost fire i break it 
Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Set that thing on fire. That thing that is causing people to have unstable jobs. Your jobs never last for more than three months. Even if they say the contract is for six months, you are terminated within three months. Repetitive unemployment. Repetitive fibroids. Everybody, and you think that's normal? Three children, four children, five children out of wedlock. And your sister had it. Your cousins as well. No marriage. Different fathers, different mothers. It is not normal. It is not normal. Thank you, Shakespeare. Oh. What? So, Rispa, I missed the first part. So you were confirming the issue about the animals. You said you were entering your house. Can you tell me the first part again, please? My God. Or you can send me a request, then I'll, I'll take you up in the screen now. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Oh, Jesus. Just repeat it for me right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for Fifi's sister right now. I'm poor for God bless you. I command healing to come to her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a strange bird. My God. My God. They were trying to exchange your destiny. Mm. Oh, we break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rispa, the fact that you are even seeing that and the challenges that you are having with your husband. There is a connection to that bird. Oh, thank you, Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we renounce every God that we served that is not the God of heaven. Any gods that were served by our ancestors that have brought us into collective captivity, and our generations and our forthcoming generations by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to renounce it right now. If you've ever committed abortion, I want you to renounce it right now. Even if you don't have the guts to say it in the comment section, I just, just pray a prayer where you are renouncing yourself. You will renounce yourself against any spirit that is associated with that abortion so that it does not short circuit what is supposed to happen in your life. It doesn't short circuit what is supposed to happen in your children's life so that it doesn't short circuit you being able to conceive when the Lord has restored you. God bless everybody who's following on Mara official as well. God bless you. I see you. I renounce it in Jesus name. Thank you. God bless you. My tuba you are receiving right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are released from captivity. User 8821, you are released. Daphne, you are released in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Samuel. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we renounce the gods that we serve. We renounce the gods that were served by our ancestors. Every satanic odor coming out of the closet of our families, oh God, we command it to be silenced. Every form of satanic odor, every form of satanic odor, we command it to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic odor, we command it to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Any sacrifice that was done on your behalf that is caging you right now from your roots, I command it to die. 
I speak to those things, those sacrifices that they made for your behalf, on your behalf. I command them to be caged right now. Those sacrifices will no longer speak. The blood of Jesus will speak from now. The blood of Jesus will begin to flow throughout your family history. The blood of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it throw, flow through your veins. Let it flow through the veins of your family. From your history. Throughout your family history. Let the blood of Jesus wash. Let it wash away every ground of satanic attack. Let it wash away every ground, every, every principle that is making it valid and legal for it to hold on. Those of you who have just come in, we are praying, destroying evil patterns. You see, I, I said something earlier. I said, you can rebuke any demon by raising the name of Jesus, but it's not equally so easy to get rid of a principality. Because a principality fights from a legal ground. A principality says, I understand the principle that is at work and that God will not step into this situation because you have sabotaged yourself in doing one, two, three. A principality will want to, to uh, thank you holidays. A principality will want to fight you based on principle to say, you don't know the Jesus that you're calling, but I need people who are here who are saying, I know the blood that you're talking about, Pastor Fortune, because I know that the blood has come through for me before. And if it has come through for me before, I want that same blood to go wash my family bloodline. I want my that blood to go and destroy every evil pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it wash away so that I stop suffering this repeated affliction, this repeated rejection of people thinking that they can come into my life and date me for a few months and just go out like that without even an explanation. That repetitive cycle that you would be in a relationship for five, ten years, three, four, five generations, and the people still leave. No commitment. You start a job. People are always lying about you. Now it has become as if people are ganging up on you. It's like you are, the problem is now you, because now it's starting to gain credibility. That why is it that you move from the other job? You said they spoke about you. Also on this job, you said they spoke about you. They lied about you. It's a pattern. It needs to be broken. It's a pattern. It needs to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Mm. We ask for restoration of God. Evil cycles in my bloodline. I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise that declaration. I decree it and I declare it in my life. I decree it and I declare it in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every evil cycle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil cycle in your bloodline right now, it is being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will refuse to struggle for what your parents struggled. If your parents struggled for that thing, you will not suffer that same struggle. The Egyptians that your fathers and your mothers contended with, you will not have to contend with them in the name of Jesus Christ. As you declare and you decree and you disassociate yourself with any covenant, with any shrine, with any altar that was raised by your ancestors that is negatively trying to speak against you in the name of Jesus Christ, with any covenant that has been trying to raise every marine spirit trying to speak against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We will only take the good and the good inheritance, everything that is good that we inherited from our forefathers. That is what we are receiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We break every generational curse, every pattern, every pattern, specific series of events, facts, everything you can't understand, targeted at your future. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ola ba 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 ria soto kodi abasunda di abasoto do 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 boshia. Repeating itself. Terrible events in your life. Repeating themselves. It's a family pattern. It's an evil pattern in your foundation. And it needs to be dealt with. And we need to uproot it at the root level. Spirit of abortion. Spirit of adultery. It is not common. This is not my life. Somebody take, take, take somebody in the comment section. This is not my life. It's not supposed to be like that. This is not my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is a pattern maker. You need to understand that God is a pattern maker. And he has designed our lives to follow his, the pattern of his word. But equally, the devil is also a copycat. And he's perfect at it. This is not my life. Hallelujah. Declare it. This, if there's something in your life that you don't like, I want you to declare it now. Th this is not my life. This is not my life. Yes, every negative word that has been spoken against you, Ovi, right now, every negative word that has been spoken against your progress, right now it is broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil is a copycat. He tries to replicate the design of God, but he begins to torment the children of God. My God. Guys, if you are here on this broadcast, let me do this thing very importantly. Because I'm all about populating heaven and expanding the kingdom of God. If you've not given your life to Christ, I want to give you that opportunity to do that right now. Because otherwise you will not be empowered to break the evil patterns. The blood of Jesus works for born again children of God. So I pray for you as you stand in agreement with me. And I say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for every single person that is on this broadcast that has not accepted you as Lord and Savior right now, Father God, as they repeat after me and say these words, Lord, that they believe with their mouth, with their hearts and they confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he died and he rose again. He was buried and he was re resurrected on the third day. And as he was buried, I was buried with him. And as he resurrected, I was resurrected with him. And in that resurrection, all curses were broken and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I live in the blessing and the divine pattern of God's life pattern for me. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and I decree that I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm saved. I'm a saved child of God. And Jesus is Lord over my life. And I'm empowered to break every single curse. I'm empowered to break every single evil pattern. If you have prayed that prayer, say a resounding amen in Jesus' mighty name. If you have said it because you are restoring your born again status, make sure you give me a resounding amen as well in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. When the devil comes in with an evil pattern, he tries to make you think that you should not be above what your parents, but you are actually supposed to be exceeding what your parents achieved. He wants you to think that you're not supposed to be greater than your father. Where your father ended is the limiting issue. You cannot, you have to exceed where your father ended. Hallelujah. You will rise above. I decree and I declare that you will rise above where your father ended in Jesus mighty name. The things that stopped your father, the thing that stopped your mother. Hallelujah. It will not stop you. Don't put a ceiling on it. Don't put a limitation on it. Don't say the thing that stopped my mother at 50, the thing that killed my mother at 59 is the thing that will kill me. No, it's a lie. It's the lie of the devil from the pit of hell. And we break it now. We refuse it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are rising. I remove that ceiling in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil has refined this trade to the point where the rest of the world accept it as if it's a standard that things are like that. No, it's not normal. This is not my life. Say it again in that comment section. This is not my life. God, I'm turning over a new chapter. I'm turning over a new leaf. No longer will it be said like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, if it's not to do with good things. No, 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 no. This is not my life. Oh, God does not model anyone's life after the other. Rather, his word says, we, whatever we see in his word is what we become by faith. 
and we follow his leading. My God, Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. I still say it for those of you who are just joining us. The thing that killed your father at 50, the thing that killed your father at 60, it will not kill you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The fact that witches in your community prevented your parents from prospering does not imply that you are going to be prevented from prospering in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not stay that one way. You will not maintain the status quo. You are breaking through. You are breaking forth. There is something heavy right now. There is a heavy presence of the Holy Spirit. Somebody testify for me. Tell me what is happening in your body. You cannot be prevented from graduating just because your father or your mother was a dropout. Just because your siblings that are older than you were a dropout, you will not be prevented. Hallelujah. You will graduate. Those of you that I was praying for, that person that I'm praying for, for that PhD, let me know when you celebrate on that celebration. Say, my father caused me to celebrate. You cannot be prevented. Identify the evil pattern you are dealing with. Identify the issue you are dealing with. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When nothing extends past where your parents left off or where your predecessors left, that shall not be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. It shall not be your portion. Some of you have been to numerous, numerous locations. But you are told you must, you must worship a specific deity. My God. Yes, yes, lucky, like no weapon shall prosper. Surely they will gather, but they gather to scatter. They don't gather by me. I did not call that meeting. That meeting where they are talking about you, that meeting where they are always gossiping about you, I did not call that meeting, says the Lord. And they gather to scatter, and they scatter by fire. Oh, Jesus. I'm speaking to those where hope is lost. All your hope, it feels like it's gone. You are like on ground zero. My God. I'm here to tell you that God is on your side. He's ready to liberate you from every wicked pattern in your family bloodline. This is not your life. You're right. This is not your life. Now ask God for the right life. This is not your life. The Lord says, I'm prepared. I'm ready to heal my children. I'm ready to free my children. I'm ready to free my children, Pastor Fortune, from every generational curse. I'm ready to free them from every satanic ancestral spirit that have bound their lives to a, to a demonic pattern. I'm ready. I'm releasing it now. I'm releasing it now. If you are ready to receive it, say, I receive it. I receive it. I'm releasing it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people who are here, your households don't even have a college graduate, not even a university graduate, let alone a metric graduate. Why? Why? Do the research. Find out. Ask somebody. Ask somebody and insist. I want to know why. Why is this the case? My God. Some people, they, 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 they don't, they know it's like a sad thing. People die at this age and you want to accept it. No, it cannot be so. Somebody say this error must be corrected. This error must be corrected. Oh my God. Zimgita, the Holy Ghost is visiting you now. That's the Holy Spirit that you're feeling, my angel. Flow, flow, flow. This error must be corrected. Somebody ask the Holy Spirit, this error must be corrected. It's an error. This error must be corrected. My God. Barrenness cannot be the order of the day. This error must be corrected. All of you have to pray for fruit of the womb. When you are pregnant, you have to have complications. 
when you're pregnant, it becomes a topic and there's a pattern. This error must be corrected. This error must definitely be protected. Or corrected, rather. This error, error must be corrected. My God, thank you, Jesus. This curses, these curses must break. These curses must break. You will not remain childless. If God did it for Abraham, you will not remain childless. I speak to your womb right now. Your womb will give birth. You will remain, you will not remain childless. If he did it for Isaac and he did it for Jacob, he will do it for you in Jesus' mighty name. I release you from every awful family pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what structural patterns in your family are. But God is determined this, this morning to eradicate each and every single one of them. Whatever the structural evil pattern is there. I declare that every wicked pattern is destroyed. Every wicked pattern is destroyed. Every wicked pattern is destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil pattern, every wicked evil pattern, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. We are eradicating every generational curse. Every generational curse that is causing your family harm. We are eradicating it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. No longer will you be plagued by that curse and you are, you are in a stumbling block. No, 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 no. No more being stuck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk to me. What's happening to you? These curses must break. Israel was a puppet. Israel was a puppet in the hands of, of Goliath and its enemies until David decided to speak, until David said, no, 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 that does not happen on my watch. That does not happen to my family bloodline. David said, no, I'm not going to entertain that, that Goliath. I'm not entertaining that giant. Some people need to deal with the giants in their family. You know what is that giant? That alcoholism. Everybody is an alcoholic. It is not normal. This error must be corrected. I speak to every Goliath that is a stumbling block to your life right now. It will not survive in Jesus' name. It will not survive. David was just simply another young shepherd until Goliath came and purpose was being fulfilled. And David said, no, 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 no. This evil pattern must be corrected. This thing that you're coming to oppress me in my camp, it must be corrected. David would have been just another great warrior who was said to be king until King Saul was killed. Saul had to be killed. If that is the evil pattern that needs to be corrected, let it be corrected. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord saying, I'm removing every limiting element. I'm removing every limiting element. I'm removing every agent of darkness. Yes, addicts, alcoholic, alcoholic, alcoholism. We speak to you. We speak to that spirit right now. We command you to break yourself from us. Loose yourself. Loose yourself from our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Children don't have a desire to work, to, to go and, and, and be employed or to go to university. It's not normal. My God. I remove every limiting, every agent of darkness that is limiting you. It's removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. That alcoholic spirit is being removed. Baby girl, pray, pray and, and speak to every one of your ancestors. Living and not living. I don't know what you call them when they're not, when they're living. 
those who are before you and you can see that pattern, I want you to pray for them and rebuke that spirit of alcoholism in their lives and say it stops. It doesn't go any further than this. No more. Keep tapping that screen. You're welcome to share. You're welcome to tap. All I ask is that you give me a follow. You click on the screen. I'm ready to tarry for you. I'm ready to be a watchman and, and, and stand in the gap and pray. I know the order of things went differently than we expected. I'm just going by the leading of the spirit. Limitations are being removed. Every agent of darkness is being removed. Every agent of Satan is being removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn on that notification bell. Just follow me. You will go and watch on YouTube the replay so that you catch the teaching right at the beginning as well. I know it's going to be a very long, 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 long broadcast. But you watch it from start to end. You can even fall asleep while listening to it. The prayers will bless you. The prophecies will reactivate your spirit, man. You will be excited in the spirit and you will launch out. After this, you will just be. Hallelujah. Those of you who are watching me from Mara Official, if you want to follow me as well, I'm Fortune L Online or Pastor Fortune, Fortune L Online. Make sure you're following the right account, not my cloned accounts. The right account, I think, should be about 53,000 now. So make sure you're following the right account, please. And remember, I will not ask you for anything in the inbox. I will not DM you and ask you for anything, especially financially. All I want is your breakthrough. All I want to know is your testimony. Because I serve a God that lives. I serve a God that wants to see his children testify. The more you testify, the more others come to God. And that's why I keep on asking you, testify, talk to me. Confirm, testify, testify. They're overcame by the words of their testimonies. Thank you for those who are following on both platforms. If you're following on Mara Official, also follow Fortunel online. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You will indeed serve God in Jesus' mighty name. So you can, your, 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 your name just went up very quickly. Somebody say, set me on fire, Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. Oh, Rabashiolo Robosia, Kadia Basondo Robosia. Every stronghold of evil patterns in your family will crumble. From today, they are crumbling. Set me on fire, Holy Spirit. Set me on fire, Holy Ghost. Set me on fire, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Naz. Mm. Naz, the challenge is that the longer you 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 resist your calling, it's gonna manifest itself in a different way. They're going to ask you to do the Sangoma route. And at that time you would be in a state of confusion and you will be tempted to go that route. And you will not be able to fight the evil patterns that we spoke about earlier. That is the trap that will be set. Whereas you're supposed to respond to the calling on your life from God. If you don't respond to it, it's going to be reversed. Because that's the entry point that those that are in your bloodline some of your family relatives will use against you because they want you to use the witchcraft. They want you to lower yourself from the standard you are at now. And once you enter into that dimension, when you are now serving a different God, that's the entry point and that's the end of it, my babes. Don't delay because it will come with pain. If it is not all done already. If you are not already feeling as if you are squeezed. You are, you are not feeling as if you are already squeezed. Because I know I can see that you are. You are feeling backed up in a corner already. 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for everything that you have done for me. I thank you for everything that you have done for every single person that is on this broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, that every single person that has come through this morning, oh God, has been detached from every familiar pattern, from every evil pattern. Those of you on Facebook, those of you on YouTube as well. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody on TikTok, both platforms, in the name of Jesus Christ. So you are feeling it, Naz? Mm. So I want you to stay in the dimension of testimonies. Because God will bless you the sooner. The, the faster, you see, your first reaction counts. The quicker your response, your, your first response, your first excitement, your first grabbing like that, run with it. Look at that. God healed you from cancer to give you the proof. Hallelujah. To give you the proof that he can do it. Did, guys, did you see that testimony? Nesli was healed from cancer. And you are just here. If I was you, I would claim my miracle. I would state it in that comment section. See the guts for her. She, she, she puts it out there. I know God healed me of cancer. And he wanted to use you. He wants to use you. Because of that healing. To bring healing to others. Amen. And amen. Let me see if I can pin it. That they see. I can't pin it. Don't know where my moderators are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, we eliminate every wicked pattern, every wicked family pattern in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that this familial pattern, this evil pattern has been corrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak to marital failure. The pattern of marital failure that mar marriages are not working out in the name of Jesus Christ. May that intensity increase on you, Nazli, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the intensity on your calling increase and give you such a discomfort that you will, you will not even be chased. You will not be begged anymore. Oh, I declare and I decree that every failure that occurred in your parents' life will not occur in yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Moses, welcome. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord take you to the next dimension of your life speedily. Every single delay, Moses, is removed. State your healing. Don't even generalize. Claim your miracle. Say what your miracle is. Oh my God. Every pattern of witchcraft in your family is being buried now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My father, arise. Let every unusual evil pattern be destroyed. Unleash my destiny, God. My Father, arise. Unleash my destiny. Let that be your prayer right now. Unleash my destiny. Unleash my destiny. Unleash my destiny. Oh, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, disperse by fire every wicked pattern of stronghold of death. Every disaster in our families, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rebeshia la 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 basso to Kodia mama mama siye le 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 beshia. Oh, Jesus. Every garment of wicked family evil patterns catches fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Makora baba 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 basia. 
The Lord is wiping your tears. You will not have to cry again. Thank you, Jesus. Every stronghold of sexual impurity is removed in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for that pain on that foot in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Every form of sexual impurity is being removed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's her name? What's the name, baby Nick? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for baby Nick Thetis' son right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May he be healed in Jesus' name. Father, overshadow him in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot any relationship that is not having a godly foundation. I break the evil pattern of cohabitation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for financial freedom. Lawrence, you know why you're going through a lot? Is because the foundation is fighting you. The roots are fighting you. You need to deal with that ancestral bloodline that is speaking to what you're going through right now in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, that Raul and Karina are healed from all infirmities in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the Spirit of God right now. Thank you, Leah Peters. God bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. That serpentine spirit, I speak to you now. I know you're here. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. That serpentine spirit, I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive Oliver. The Lord says, wait. You have to wait. You have not finished your processing session. The Lord says, wait. The Lord says, wait. It's not time. He says, wait. Don't marry it. He says, I'm still dealing with you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I speak to those who are being tormented by adultery, a spirit of adultery in their lives right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every familiar pattern of adultery that is at work in your life, I command it to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makora ba shoto kodi abaha, lakasa taka di aba shoto kodi abaha sataka, leke seke teki ri aba sondo do 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 boshia. I unstuck you in that business in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive divine ideas in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every bad familiar pattern of anointing of destructive rage in my bloodline be consumed by fire. Spirit of anger, we rebuke you. We rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every, thank you so much, Shiluva. Hallelujah. 
Makura bashondo dia masonda dia basanda that strong men of rage. It will not drag you to hell. You will not perish in Jesus' mighty name. You will not perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every wicked pattern of a Jezebel spirit that is at work in your life perish by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Every seed of depression related with your family in the redemption of, of your life it perishes right now. I speak to the spirit of depression. I command it to perish right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of depression, you die now in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are, eight, you are entering into your greatness season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for having heard our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we begin to thank him? Can we begin to thank him? Can we begin to thank him? God bless you, Donna. God bless you. Increase your territory. Hallelujah. Father, we rise this morning to ask the right question. Who did this? An enemy has done this. Who planted? What is that marine spirit? In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Makoraba shondali abasoto koriabaha. No more pattern of early death. No more repeated inherited diseases. Your passport will indeed be useful in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of polygamy. Break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of rising and falling, break away. I loose myself from you. Loose your hold. Loose your hold from us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Donna. Husbands will take their place. They will be providers in their families. Not only will be the women who are looking after families, these roles shall not be reversed, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Even if both parties are working, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let husbands take their place. Let there be a restoration of husbands, of financial resources and financial ability, O oh Lord. Let capabilities come on those who are men, who are husbands. Father, they will be able to support their children and maintain their children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, no more firstborn and lastborn problems. No more parents who don't enjoy the fruit of their labor. My God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are going to close now. I will see you at five. I'm just going to take one hour to rest my voice. And we do our normal 5 a.m. protocol breaking prayer, okay? It's been a glorious time that we've had since midnight. I just want to rest my voice because I can hear the crack is coming. And I want to make sure that I'm here. So if you want to go and grab tea and just soak in the Holy Spirit's presence, put on some worship. Don't fall asleep. Make sure you put on your alarm. Hallelujah. Please make sure you are following the post account where you are on and click on the, the follow button. I'm going to come into the TikTok with another account. I'm going to give you the account to follow on Instagram and on YouTube. But particularly for YouTube, you can watch the replays of all our broadcasts at 5 a.m. and at 10 p.m. South African Standard Time. 
all the replays, all the teachings, all that you need to equip you, that this replay, that you will be able to go listen to the teaching on how to deal with evil patterns. My God. That account that says spirit zone. So I'm going to pin that comment. That is the, um, the account that you need to follow on YouTube. Hallelujah. Let me come and pin it on the Takunda Mara account as well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for liberation. If you want to give a testimony, inbox me, DM me. If you need counseling, if you need prayers, I'm not too big. I'm just a little girl from Pretoria in South Africa who loves the Lord. And by his grace, he has given me favor. And by his grace, he has enabled me to be a watchman. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that everybody who's at the sound of my voice from today, they will ask the right questions. They will get to the root cause of their issue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Please, I ask that you just give me a follow. Give me a follow also on Fortune Online, okay? I will pray for you actively because we are standing together. We are partners from today. So I'm asking you to become my prayer partner. Give me a follow. If you want to join my team here, I think there's a little heart. You're welcome to do that. Everything that I'm doing for free. I will serve God for free. Any blessing I get is an added bonus. But I'm asking you just that today. And I'm asking that you give me an inbox, a DM, and you tell me, God bless you. Thank you, No. All I'm asking is that you tell me your testimony. Come to the DM. Dare smoothly. All that gang from KZN. That Peter Maritzberg testimony. Everybody. All those testimonies that we had. Inbox me. Because that at least also gives me. Gives me hope. That what I'm doing here on this platform is not in vain. I could be sleeping. You could be sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. MMT, I see you. Tag me. You um, I will follow you after. Hallelujah. On that spirit zone, I see you. Tag me. Hallelujah. Anybody who wants to follow me on IG, if it's important to you, I will follow you back. No stress. Hallelujah. I'll follow you instantly on Instagram. I still have room. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Let's fight. Let's reclaim our destinies. Let's make sure we are dealing with these evil foundations, these evil patterns. Thank you so much, Crystal. God bless you and increase you. Deal with the evil foundations. Don't let it slide. Take control over your destiny. The, the honest woman who, whose child had not died, and when they came to King Solomon and said, and, and, and you know, this is not my son. What was she effectively saying? This is not my life. So this is not your life. It's not meant to be like this. This is not the script that God gave. Oh, may you receive your destiny helper's location. Let that contact that you are believing God for. The Instagram account um, is the same one as this one. It's Fortune L Online. I'm pinning it again. That's the Instagram account. On YouTube, you've got all my videos for replay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nothing is a coincidence, guys. Nothing is a coincidence. We did not meet by accident. You did not follow me or see me on this account by accident. You followed me so that I can come and echo the spirit, what the spirit wants you to know. Thank you so much, Des. God bless you. 
Des, I'm going to put, uh, okay, you're on the other platform. You won't see, but I'm sharing the email. If you want to be on the email, if you want to join the, the WhatsApp group, guys, to know whenever I'm going live. Um, okay, it's refusing the email. I think there's something that blocks when you are using like personal details. So I think it only allows um, social media accounts. So we can DM each other there and you tell me your testimony. So please, the first, there's two videos that I've pinned that have got a barcode for WhatsApp group. If you scan that WhatsApp uh, thing, you will be in my group, in my WhatsApp group. It will make it much more easier to also communicate, especially with meetings that are impromptu. I know a lot of people did not know that I was going to come on at midnight today, but I'm here. Hamont Dromo, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So that Fortune L Online account, that's me, Fortune L Online, on all social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. So, but I will check the messages on Instagram. Those of you who want dream interpretations, please don't hesitate to inbox, right? Inbox, 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 especially on Facebook and Instagram. I think the messages come through to WhatsApp as well. So once you're on the WhatsApp group, it will make it easier for us to help with the dream interpretation as well. I know that Prophet Mara was supposed to be online with me. He is online, but he's, I think he's moderating. He's finding it very difficult to moderate alone now. But let's see what the Lord will do for us in the morning. Hallelujah. I, in like an hour from now, you know, I'll be back in an hour from now to do our protocol breaking prayer. Hallelujah. I know I'm trying my best. Sometimes I'm not physically able to get to all the messages, but I try my best, guys. And if it, even if I just respond with a text, you must know that I'm on it. I'm just a girl on assignment. I truly love you guys, and I truly want you to prosper. And I know you will do it. My best thank you is your testimony. I truly love you. I genuinely do. I love my TikTok family, especially because I know you guys show up, right? I love you too, Facebook. Let me not be choosy. I love you too, YouTube. You are still coming. You see YouTube. Guys, when you get to YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. God bless you, Des. God, God bless you and restore your business. That fire was, was just demonic. It was a demonic attack. But I, I, I thank God for your commitment because your deliverance, I felt it. From here, from all the way from Pretoria, I felt that deliverance. Amen. You will not suffer what your parents suffered in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Boateng. Melissa, God bless you. Thank you so much, everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm going to log you off now. Thank you so much. I'll see you in an hour. I'm just going to rest my voice so that it doesn't crack. And then we're going to do five o'clock to six o'clock. So we're resting for one hour. We come back for one hour to hear what the Lord had made me prepare for that, for that session. Okay. That is our normal 5 a.m. I am live 5 a.m. Every single day, seven days a week. Hallelujah. Nelly, can you please give give that account a follow, please? Um, and then inbox, please. Your stomach stopped hurting. Wow, Mahima, God bless you. And your feet is healed. Wow, God bless you. God bless you. Please, I um that that pregnant lady. Please, I need your spirit to be lifted up. Your spirit is being lifted up in Jesus' mighty name right now. May the Lord heal the concerns of your heart. There's too much that you're thinking about. I don't want you to compromise that pregnancy. Please. Thank you, Pastor Almeri. Almeri uh, Almerindo. Thank you. God bless you, Pastor. God increase you, Pastor. I pray for every man and woman of God who's on this broadcast. May God increase your territory. May God expand your ministry. May God give you fresh revelations daily. May God give you all the prophetic gifts that you need. Every gift of the spirit may be, have full functionality in your ministry.
I pray for every minister, every challenge, every resource that you need. May it be made available. May God give you the power to expand every single person with a calling who's on this broadcast, who does not know, who's still asking themselves whether they should follow you, God. Father, may they release, they have that release today, right now. Let their burning bush experience happen right now in Jesus' mighty name. We seal it right now, Father God. The harvest is there, O oh God, but the laborers are few. And Father, I release these ones who are on this broadcast, O oh God, that they will go out there and make, make disciples of others, O oh God, that we will increase in number. We will, we will populate not only TikTok, but we will populate on, on, on YouTube everywhere. And God, we will make Jesus famous and we live just to lift up the name of Jesus to glorify you. Father, we exalt you. We glorify you. We give you praise. We give you all the honor and all the adoration. All glory goes to you for every single testimony that was on this service. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.